walks to the toilet. As he's walking by the toilet, he's like that. <laughs> he walks by them like that. Like this, look. Dang dong, Thatcher's dead. Thatcher's dead. Dang dong, wicked Thatcher's dead. <laughs> There's no more fun than four chart fun. Yes, there ain't no part of that. Four chart fart, fart farty. Four chart farty. <laughs> I'll get that clip, man. I tried to say there ain't no part of like an S club party, you know, but there ain't no uh, party like a four chart party. But I said four chart farty. <laughs> get that clip, man. Yeah, get that clip. Get this fucking sold, man. Claymore all the fucking way. All the way, man. Sold, done, do. Don't need to ask you about it. No. We don't need to talk about it anymore. It's been done, man. Don't, don't talk about it anymore. It's been done, man. <laughs> I sold it. Ma, I sold it. There's no point fucking. Oh. There's no point fucking wagging your fucking finger at us, man. I've sold it all right. There's no point fucking shouting at man. I sold it. <laughs> ma. Ma, there's no point fucking shouting at me. I've sold it, man. <laughs> it's sold now. It. It's fucking... Wait, you want to get the money back? The money's in my fucking arms, ma. Shot it in my fucking arms, ma. <laughs> ah. Ah. Well, you're going to fucking blame me. You're going to blame me before you fucking blame that fucking prick you married, aye? Aye? That fucking prick, man. That cunt, eh? That fucking waste, man. You're gonna blame me before you blame that fucking prick you fucking married, man. Eh? My dad's a fucking prick, man. Yeah. My dad's a prick. And you can get to fuck her all, man. <laughs> Mama, you're gonna get me off this monk. <laughs> Mama, you're gonna get me off this monk. This monk is in my house. <laughs> Mommy, I've sold it. Mommy, I've sold everything. <laughs> Mommy, I just went. I just went, you yeah, have your wee boy back. Mommy, I just went, you yeah, have your wee boy back. Where did they go, man? <laughs> Mommy, get this muck out my arms, man. <laughs> in the back there. Oh, I can see the Wayne's playing in the back. They're playing a big game of Ludo. You know, they actually shouldn't be in the back. It's actually dangerous. They could get killed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a wee nudge. I'm not going to, you know, just a wee free. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh my God, where is it? They went flying there, there, look. Look. There. I just wanted to give them a wee nudge, you know, so that they went like that. Oh god, that was that was close that. Listen, I'm gonna stop the mower. You saw come into the mower for the caravan, that was close. I'd like to say, it would be silly for me to say I hope they're alright, because I did see the blood up the up the windies. God, I feel terrible. I have to say, I bet you know when they 
a wee bit dim. There we go, that's better. Fucking dim. That's it. Hello, folks. Hello, everybody. Old Cloud Donny 90, Wolf Lover, Biggest Jester. Now then, Yogi. Thank you very much for the subs. Now, say thanks for the host. Nowsy thanks for gifting that subs. Terror thanks for the three and a bits. Charlie, Charlie Burchill, blam. Nah. Geo. Axel Rose, blam. It's been snapped up, Geo. I'm sorry. One blam per stream. Uh, thanks for the three and three sub, Dave. Thank you very much, Prisket. Thanks for, thanks for the subs. Hello, everybody. Hello, folks. Um, some people were asking me on uh, uh, Twitter oh where's your uh, have you ever met Kobe Bryant at a charity do I'm no doing the tweets anymore it's it's no pun intended deep part it's it's like gone it's Because, um, uh, just once or twice, the reasons are, once or twice, I just felt it was kind of like fucking inappropriate and I didn't do it and some people were going like that. Or you can't pick and choose and I thought, oh, this is turning into a fucking thing now. Um, also, I just, people are going like, oh, have you, did you meet thingy at a charity do? Somebody I've never fucking heard of. And I'm like, fuck. Have I got it? Right, let me look into it. Um, and and when I saw that, I just thought, Ugh. no. I did it. I did it with Terry Jones. You know, I did it with Terry Jones. See, once I tweeted it, I just thought, you're you're starting to sound like some cunt in somebody's office that keeps coming out with the same funny part of it that was funny about a year ago at an office party and you keep fucking coming out with it and nobody, nobody can come out and just say go on a shop it's no edgy it's no it's no really edgelord part of it it's just um, just kind of fucking shite I don't know Just it's just a bit old that's all it's mainly a bit old that's the main thing it's a bit old FM God thanks for the host Leon European Bob Either Craig or John thanks for the subs. You're still waiting on the depressive as fuck playlist. I'll put one together. I was thinking about what I could put on a depressing playlist, but I don't know. I mean, you would think, well, put on like the Smiths or something like that, but I'm going to fucking put them on. Tango and Adam, Rook, no controller, thank you very much for the subs. Kyle and Jones, the Holy Mountain. No, you thought it would be right up your alley. I thought it. Have you seen the Holy Mountain? I've seen it last night and thought it would be right up your alley. See people who use the phrase up your alley instead of up your street. I generally don't agree with their opinions on things. We're not really on the same wavelength. Formulate Funk thinks the Formula 3 sub. The front page I read it last night. Did you see it? I looked at some of the comments and all that. Some people moaning about the mods in here. Some people talking about oh, try making a Try making a joke on his, his stream, you get banned. Remember that person last night? Remember that, that person last night? I'm even going to say their fucking news on them, but every now and again, I get somebody, I'm not saying everybody's like this, but every now and again, I get somebody messaging me, 
were tweeting me on Twitter saying any chance you can unban me I got banned for fuck all your mods need to sort it out how what is it what, what's your username or what did you say basically I want their username so I can fucking search to see what they said and you get people like right this is this is me exaggerating but you get people like, oh my name's uh, Adolf88 and all I said was she's a fucking you know like you get people like that you get people like that what, what did I say what did I say? What did I say? Sorry, sorry I was drunk. Sorry I didn't know. It's just that you come out with sort of edgy stuff that I didn't think all the rest is on the allowed to. I'm just, I, I just said fucking... Anyway. Peace and jam, thank you very much for the 713 sub cell wind. You'll be trying to improve your part, but it's not been getting any better tips. Just keep at it. Keep at it. Hell Whiskers is chipping away at it. He's trying his best. He'll get... So just just watch what he's doing. Is that a fail? Osmos and Jamie Bright Gaming. Cypher and Kidam, thank you very much for the subs. Struzers, thanks for six quid. Well, you're talking about 3, 2, 1. Shall we have a wee look at this? Scotland themed episode of three, two, one. Hmm. Hmm. Because this is fair usage. Remember, I'm doing it to to. I'm doing it to criticize, to criticize, and to analyze. To criticize and analyze. Investigative reporting, yes. I'm Scottish. Would I get any, would I seriously get any trouble? For playing back a video where there's a, a there's a, a, a British game show for the eighties where they have a theme they have a three two one it is, they have a theme every week. It was a Wild West we watched that one. Then it was uh, what was it, superheroes, you know, like Snoopy. And then, well, this one's Scotland. It's in everybody's interests that I watch this. Public interest. The Alpha Gin thinks for the fiver. Don't want Eddie carry on. I can't remember the voice I did. But I can. I don't know about the release date. Let me so much show. Doctor Leg thanks for sixty month three sub Teth. Thank you for the three month three sub. Let me show my show. I've got till this Friday coming up to deliver the three episodes because that's all it is. That's all I wanted today. Thank fuck. You know what Lynn said? Lynn said at the time, three? You're just doing three? I think that's stupid. I think you could easily do, easily do six. Like, Lynn, I'm not just writing it all. But I'm, I'm writing it all with just me in it. So it's not like you're also getting fog enough or you're getting fucking, like, Paul, Alan and Kirsten and people playing different parts and the whole thing. I'm writing it all, directing it all, which I was doing before, but all myself, filming it all, editing it all, doing all the music, doing the whole thing, I would fucking crack. I'm already close to fuck. I was already close to fucking cracking, cracking up. With just the three... Play the first three backwards for six. Good idea. Palindrome, sort of. It's called. It's called palindrome. It's called a palindrome show. Yo yo, and we're gonna just yo yo it. Have you? Haven't you heard? It's it's actually really really funny watching a sketch show, reversed. It's a new thing, coming to BBC Scotland. Dabke Disco. That's when I was. That's when I was sticking the sub count on. That's when I was sticking the sub count on. Cool, Billy. But at Ableton streams. I'm going to get back into Ableton. I might stream some Ableton when I'm making the music for my soul made show because I've got some things coming up that I want to make some music for. But I might just actually get my head done and get it fucking done. Rather than like, so I'm going to make this and because really I just want to sit there and get on with it, and then. 
the Ableton streams for for fun. The work stuff, I just want to fucking get my head done and get it done. Now, so thanks for two quid. The main concept of the show is fucking stupid. Oh, you're fucking stupid, Nelsie. The main concept of you is fucking stupid. Homemade show. You could have done six episodes if you had editors and help and actors and staff doing it all yourself is madness. Nelsie, it's what I wanted to do. Therefore, it's the best, the best thing. If it's what I want to do, that means it's the best thing. Even, thanks for the sub, Paul McCrory, thanks for 16 month three subs, thanks. Oh, you like the Pro X? Orgasmic, thanks for the, thanks. Thank you very much, glad I liked the book. Sugar Sips, Woodlouse, G Monk, G Dunk. Thanks for the sub, Thatcher's Moist Crumb, thanks for the five on it, thanks. She still did. Right Pissed, Dilbo Bobbins, thank you very much for the subs. No, I wanted today a sketch show that was made completely by me. I film it all, edit it all day, everything, just like the old days. Just like the pre, the pre, I've already said the YouTube days, the pre YouTube days. You're yes or no. You're like, like this. Even thanks for gifting a five subs, thank you very much. Kate Kate, thanks for two and a bits. So when does full time officially start then? Um, well, I can imagine. I said, the whole thing has got to be delivered. I mean, completely delivered, delivered, perfectly, all done. This is what's going on the telly by March. And I'm assuming by March, that means I've got till the end of March. So March, April. So I think April, definitely April, at some point in April. Oh, by the way, have you seen this? At some point in April, so either right away, first of fucking April, or like a week in, I'm not sure. But, uh definitely, definitely April. Goddess Watch, thanks to Tenor, thank you very much. Glad you like the accent, thank you very much. Come to Glasgow, there's a lot is here. Big Fazzy and Cops, Bacon, Obi-Wan, Pizza Filler, thanks for the subs. Aye, I've, I've seen that edit, yeah. Happy Cyclist, thank, and Evan, thanks for the subs again. Have you seen this, everybody? I uploaded it yesterday. My son tells me to stop streaming. Do you remember? 346,000 views since yesterday. Three hundred and forty six thousand views since yesterday. And it's all because of that wee boy. I am local host, thanks for get thanks for the three month, twelve month three sub. Thank you very much. Um because I, I thought, I wonder if it's something they've been putting in the caps. My son, you know, see, see if you put in the, uh, one or two words as caps, really catches the eye. Now, why did I come here? Why did I come here? What did I come here for? What did I come to show you? It's all because I read it. I fucking know. No, there was something else. There was something else. Before 3, 2, 1, there was something else. Oh, I... Yeah, so uh, that's I was it. just wondering, um, you know, just want to ask this question. So that's me in a bit. I'm, I'm, I'm quite surprised it hasn't came up during the debate so far, considering it's about war. Um, that's me. When was that? When was that? When was that? I think that was 2003. Does the panel think... Pre-YouTube. Uh that Free YouTube. a person has the right to kill another person. Well, uh, thank you for giving me probably the most difficult question of the night. What a beauty. Um, 
And that is a difficult question. Well, Peter, Has someone got the right to take... We clear here, thanks to Tier 3, 60 month so thank um, you very much. And do find out thanks to Tier 3, depending on the I stumbled if you want, Kitty, because I think so. Don't put the things to Tier 3, 60 kill or be kill situation. A real killer, you know, do you have the right to kill someone or not? So, Excuse what? me, sorry, I suppose I'm not making myself clear. I'm only asking for a yes or no. Sure, sure. That was me about I, I totally understand, but it, maybe. it is a difficult question. Yeah, and it uh, just a yes or no will suffice. Um, yeah. So what I wanted to do was make... Basically make a sketch show, kind of homemade, like like all the sort of, sorts of things. So that's what I wanted to do, Nilesy, and anybody else. Um. Anyway, now it's came to my attention, Kamit lad, just bants. This is just bants. This is just bants. Ladies and gents, it has come to my Kamit, mate. You've already said that, Nilesy. You've already said that. Eh. Uh, Vega Punk thinks this up. What was I going to say there? It has come to my attention that 321 did a Scottish themed one. 321 Scotland. There it is. Oh, it's one of the new ones. 1985. So this isn't 1981. Oh, shit, you can't see. Sorry. Yorkshire Television. I'd just like to say that Yorkshire Television uh, on the copyright to this. I'm not claiming copyright. I'm doing this for analytical and critical purposes. For this is to do with my nation. Mac, thanks for name on three sub dynamo eight, thanks for two quid. A Bible passage I will Get him out of there, Baldy. Get out of here, Baldy. Oh Interesting. Pick pop me not thanks for three sub. Three syllables, two tea caddies, and one collection are among the prizes on tonight's show. That's fucking shit. Don't... You've just fucking ruined it. They have just ruined the fucking whole thing. Here's your host, are among the prizes... Three syllables, two tea caddies, and one collection. Three what? Syllables. Are among the so the the episodes that we watch, they you don't know what fucking Seychelles. Three syllables, two tea caddies. Three syllables. Uh, two. They say tea caddies. Sir Numbs a lot. Tom Sawyer thinks for the subs. <laughs> hmm. the, the part of the fucking joy was not knowing what the prizes are going to be. No, it's fucking telling you. No, 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 they're telling you. They're telling you. And one collection are among the prizes on tonight's show. Shape. And here's your host, Ted Rogers. So, ladies and gents, I just want to watch a bit, and it's not going to watch the whole lot yet. But this is this is a Scotland theme brand. Let's see, let's see what jokes he makes at my expense. Cosmic Wheels, thanks for the sub. Whoa, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you very much indeed. As always, it's great to have you with us. Welcome to 321, everybody. The As usual, folks, let us see. Did he do 3, 2, 1? If you're new to this, if you don't know what I'm watching here, this is a programme in the 80s called 321. It's a kind of quiz show, but there's also a kind of bit of detective work you need to do. You need to work out clues and to try and get the prize that you want. And he would do this. And everybody in school at the time would go, I, I can do it, I can do it, look. Look, 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 that's not it, you're doing it too fast. Look, three, two, one. You, no, you're doing that, you're, you're doing, it's not that, right? In case you're new to this. You would try and copy this guy, you'd try and copy Ted Rogers. And every single time I have watched him, because he does it multiple times in each episode, we've watched two episodes, he never... Does it? Only show where three very much indeed. As always, a great to have you with us. Welcome to th What's that, everybody? What's that? Tell me that number. Tell me that number. Yes, that's right, that's four. Every fucking time. Big Scamble and Dr. Max Shark, thank you very much. Your jock complex is about to explode in this episode. Yep. Four. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Almost a two. Well, we'll give him that two. Four. Kinda. Kinda. Is mere a kinda? You know, like... Like that? One, right, so, it, it, two, one, everybody. It's, it's that, it's that, it's the flip, that, that's the, so that was a, let's give him, let's give him, at best, a four, two, one. Thank you very much indeed. Ted, tell us the theme tonight. As always, a great to have you with us. Welcome to 321, everybody. The only show where three couples get a chance to go home with a thousand pounds and a couple gets a chance at one of those fabulous prizes that we have. And of course, you know, that's not easy to say that today with all the cuts that's going on, is it? I mean, the economy drives a terrible up here, you know. Soon you'll be watching Emmerdale Allotment. <laughs> the price is far too high. <laughs> and a hole with Peter Alice. That's good. That was a good one. That, that was good. That. No, that was that was really good there. So so there you go. Have you noticed quite a few times there's been a dig at Thatcher? They've been saying that Thatcher's scary, Dennis Thatcher having to live with Thatcher, Margaret Thatcher, and then he's gone like all oh, the cuts. Aye. Good day. Uh, aye, good labour. Good labour, eh? Uh, good labour show us. Will's alive, thanks for the sub. And I remember somebody saying I remember somebody pointing out on Twitter, I can't remember who it was, seeing Bullseye. Jim, Jim Bowen would always be like, so how's things, how's things up there? How's things? Why? Man, are you working? Aye. Managing to get work? No. Ask, you'd ask about, you know, if you're managing to get work and all that, you know, like, good, good working class boy, you know. Good working class, you know, how's, how's it going? All right, you managed to get a job. Aye. Sweet effigy, Mr. Reed. Will's live, thanks again for the subs. What's the theme? Ted, the theme. Tell them. Now it's time for you to come along and meet a little character who likes to medal and keep you guessing, but there's no medal for guessing who that is. My little booby prize, Dusty Bin. Here he is. <laughs> this is. Yes, indeed. As you can see, Dusty here dressed up to go along with our theme as always, which this week, being St Andrew's Night, is Scotland. He comes from a very little known Scottish clan, the Muck Holders. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh, win him, and all you get is a brand new dustbin. So with this is St Andrew's night, so this is respectful, everybody. Muck, the muck holders. The muck holders. Is he saying we're mucky? Is he saying we're mucky? Don't know, but. He, they, he wouldn't take the piss out of the Scots, not on St Andrew's night, our, 
um, patron saint night, special night. The Wired Dude, thanks for the sub. Captain Creefart, thank you for the sub. Without any further ado, we'll go on and start the quiz. Of course, you know we can't do our show without a certain group of people, our yeah. contestants. And this week, they all come from Caledonia. Say hello Fucking to the first yes. playing the 3 2 1 quiz tonight. Here they are. This is res respected. This is. Everybody, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I believe we're getting a respectful. We're getting a respectful thing. Remember, this is UK telly. Everybody in the UK watch this. Scotland, England, Ireland, Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, Wales. I'll watch this, so it's not like, oh, it's an English thing and getting them done, you know. But this is, this is respect for everybody. Here they are. With lovely Linda Lee Lewis and Linda. Who are our first couple tonight? We have Ashley and Morag Broadbent from Falkirk. Oh, great, thank Falkirk. you. Falkirk. Anybody in for Falkirk? Anybody watching for Falkirk tonight? Falkirk wheel? If you're cycling for Glasgow to Edinburgh or cycling for Glasgow to say South Queen's Ferry, halfway there's Falkirk. You stop for a wee break at the Falkirk wheel. Anybody seen the Falkirk wheel? Do you want to see the Falkirk wheel? Who wants to see the Falkirk wheel? Love the dress. Lovely dress, look. Uh, as always. Lovely dress as always. <clears throat> lovely dress as always. What's that? Nothing. The Falkirk wheel. Everybody look. Watch the adverts. That's a that's a demon skin The fit. new veggie dippers meal now at McDonald's. You didn't give me enough time to look at that fit, Bob, but I didn't press skip. There is everybody, there's a full cut wheel. Look at it. Look at this. What's this? The full cut wheel. What it is, it's for barges, you know, like that there. Down the bottom right. To get for this high bit down here to go down the canal to for a canal that's down here to a canal that's up there this whole thing see this bit here the barge goes there and it comes down here which is the Falkirk wheel is a rotating boat lift it connects the fourth and clyde canal he sounds like somebody who's had the voice disguised. When we were in the SAS, we had to storm the embassy. With the Union. In the dark, with a balaclava on, the SAS talking about the storm in the Iranian embassy. Canal. And the McNabai. It was named after the nearby town of Falkirk in central Scotland. So it's fucking slowed down. If I accidentally slowed this down. And opened in Hold the on. town of It was named after the nearby town of Falkirk in central Scotland. It was named after the nearby town of Falkirk in central Scotland. And I speed up, I don't in two thousand and two. Have us. Have us. Two canals that serves were previously connected. Fuck by off. A canal of 2002 to Scotland. It That's that hypnotism method. You can talk somebody into being hypnotised when it's normal what you do, but you slow down. Slow down. You don't even know things are being slowed. Playback speed. Let's put you at 1.25, my man. It was, it was named after the nearby town of Falkirk in that's central Scotland. That's bit, that's it. Opened in 2002. There you go. The two canals itself were previously connected by a series of 11 lots. I think you can actually go, I think you can actually go, with the, I think you can actually go faster on that and still keep it kind of normal, let's see, one and a half, 1.5. Union Canal, a rotating boat lift. We bit too fast. It connects the Fourth and Clyde Canal with the Union Canal. It was named after the nearby town of Falkirk in central Scotland. That's just Oak. that's just a wee bit too fast. But let's put it back to normal. Right, check this out. Open. So you come down there, right? Series right. You go into this thing, right? And this one, the, and then another one goes down here, right? Another one goes down here. Project. 
centre, containing a shop, cafe, and exhibition centre. That's right. Now look, everybody. The look at this. An eight-storey building. Look at the majesty of but it. But the union. Look at and boats must look at the size of this fucking thing. Look. Look at it. Look at it. From this canal onto the aqueduct look at, at the top of the wheel. Look at, look at the majesty. Look the size of this fucking thing. Look, look at it. The wheel has an overall diameter of 35 meters. One goes up, one goes down. And 50 inspired. One goes up, one goes down. And look at that. Geometrically, it fitted between the ends. There you go. Takes barges up, takes barges down. Maybe that's the uses of barges. And eight liters of water, roughly the same as boiling energy. Which now here's the very interesting fact I like to tell you about if you actually visit this. Listen to how much power this uses. Consume just 1.5 kilowatt hours of energy in four minutes, roughly the same as boiling eight kettles of water. Eight kettles of water. It uses the same amount of energy as boiling eight kettles of water. Now there you go. There you go. Nigel thinks the 3 3 sub. One rotation of that wheel uses less energy than boiling a kettle. You're wrong, Nigel. Eight full kettles. No a cup. No like a cup or anything like that. Or one kettle. Uh, anyway, so that's Falkirk. Gregorio Roberts and Adam Quinn, thanks for subs. Gift subs, sync test. Bus nuts, thanks for subs. Liam Nair. Ashley and Morag Broadbent Falkirk. Okay, it's a great place. Uh, Ashley, I see you're a parks and cemeteries manager and you look after a team of men. That's correct, Ted. Now remember, everybody, what we get in the programme is there's a bit of banter. There's a bit of banter where Ted has a pre-written joke today with what this, the person's going to say and he gets a round of applause for it a wee bit after that a woman comes on with some questions and there's a bit of banter between they two where the woman kind of acts but how it's her thanks for 10 3 sub How's that? This is, I think this is going to be I think this is actually going to be a wee bit too respectful to get a laugh out of it. I think work in Motherwell District Council and we are responsible for open space maintenance throughout Motherwell District. Uh, so you what? children's play and leisure and recreation provision in general. Parks. Now, I don't know about, about you and the audience, but I didn't understand a fucking word of that. Parks cemetery, so you've got a lot of people under you. Very true. <laughs> anyway, you're out. Provision in general. Parks and cemetery, so you've got a lot of people under you. Very true. <laughs> anyway, you're a housewife, Maureen. think that's fucking funny? You think that's fucking funny? Cemeteries might be having to bury people who have died. Loved ones. Loved ones. He's laughing at a bit. I hope he lost his fucking job. Him, he's a presenter and he's meant to be f funny. He gets away with it. He, professionally, should have went like this. This is how, this is how you cope. This is, this is how you die when there's a, a joke. So you're no rude. You don't just go like that, look. But you, you give what looks like a respectful smile. But don't laugh, don't laugh at anything to show that you actually found it funny, like this. That's what you did, you did that, look. So you've got a lot of people under you. That. So nobody can accuse you of being rude. Or high and mighty, like you've never cracked a sick joke in your life. You just go... I get it, mate. It's just I, I would have cracked the same joke at one point, but see now, now that I actually work in cemeteries, work in graveyards, and I see what this you know the effect it has on people, I can't really joke about it. But I respect you. I respect your your uh, your right. It's not a sick joke, says Hegel. Hegel, do you work in do you work in grave, mate? Do you work in do you work in the cemetery? Do you work in the graveyards? I'm telling you right now, I used to work there. I used to work at a graveyard. And if you crack a fucking joke like that in the presence of somebody who's buried a loved one, that's regarded as a fucking sick joke, mate. Okay, I've been there. Right? 
I used to work in a morgue. Winter Matty, thanks for the five month resub. You're welcome. Greg Rory and Question Department, thanks for the subs. Thank you very much. Shout out to Question Department, thanks for your tireless dedication to improving the chat, says Lemmy. Johnny Mills, thanks for the six months resub. And you've got a baby boy, what, what is he? I mean, how old? Well, he's Martin, he's about three now. Three? And he's not. It's a lovely, <laughs> a lot of is that a lovely accent? A lot of trouble, I don't believe it. Oh, she's not Colton. Three? And he's not. It's a lovely, <laughs> a is that a lovely accent? Okay. A lot of trouble, okay. I don't believe she's, it. She's, she's, I like this. She's not Colton. Okay. 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 She's she's getting the giggles. She's getting the giggles. Eyes. <laughs> lot, 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 lot of trouble. <laughs> lot of trouble, shall we say. <sighs> oh, he's... He's away to work. I mean, he's away. He doesn't know about it. He's away to work all day. Then he comes back and he thinks that... I've just been like fucking sitting in my ass watching the telly, no being fucking run rings run up with that wee bastard. And he gets all the love and attention. Oh, oh, wee Martin loves his daddy. Oh, daddy, hey, daddy's good. Daddy doesn't get me into trouble. Oh, hello, Martin, how are you? I'm the bad one. I'm the bad one that has to fucking make sure he doesn't fucking put his horn in the fucking fire and fucking pull that air himself and smash that fucking cup in his fucking head. I'm the bad one. Kiddo, thanks for the seven month three sub. Because it was interesting how you met. It's a lovely, oh, a it's a lovely <laughs> accent. A lot of trouble, I don't believe it. I like this bit. Could... No, believe it. Believe it. So it was interesting how you met Ashley. You were dating his friend. But you ditched him. Interesting how you met Ashley. You were dating his friend, but you ditched him in the hope that Ashley would ask you out. Is that true? Yes, that's right. And luckily, it worked out for, oh, <laughs> for the best. Good. So the boyfriend got the ditch, and you got the Parks and Cemeteries. <laughs> good. <laughs> Did you hear that? The boyfriend got the ditch. And you got the parks and cemeteries, I said. You got the parks and cemeteries. Right, and luckily, it worked out for, oh, <laughs> for the best. Good. So the boyfriend got the ditch and you got the parks and cemeteries. <laughs> good. Oh, oh, that's it, Ted. Got the ditch. That's it, Ted. Look at the audience, because that was a cracker, mate. You got mate. the parks and cemeteries. <laughs> good. Look at... Bang, here we go. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> it's a shot of the audience. No, I don't know. Which one do you want to choose there? But I'll banter here, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. What does it mean? <gasps> what? She's away. She's away. If, in case you don't know, what, what happened in the other two episodes that we watched for 1981, this is 1985, things have changed. The person would come on with the questions. Mind you, she did bring them on. No, but the next, the next couple will be getting brought on. She'd bring on the questions and here's, here's the lovely Alison or something like that. So Alison, tell me, what's your favourite something, something, something? Mm, Ted, I think this, I think that. Oh, you know, it'll be a bit of, oh. Now you know what happens here in the quiz, we like. No. Soft Jake. Red Sky, thanks for subs. You're in Bonnie Bridge and Falkirk. Hellbuskers, thanks for two quid. Imagine laughing at your own part like Ted Ward did there. Fucking hell, PS, ITV is on the way. Thanks, mate. Uh, this is this is fair usage. You do answer alternately. Ladies first. Two ways we can stop you if you make a mistake or run. No interested, no interested. Associated with yachting. No interested, no interested. No interested. No interested. No interested. No interested. number two. Caroline. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Darling, Caroline. Oh. Hey. This cunt fancies himself as a bit of a fucking artist. Get us, sir. Oh. Yeah. Fancies himself as one of the Glasgow boys. Your kind of... Your fucking Charles Rennie Macintosh sort of type, no? Oh. What, what do you think, everybody? What do you think he does? Look at that moustache. I don't remember moustaches like that in 1985. Big fucking... King, sort of. King fucking George or whatever. Um, Jenk is involved in the arts. Joiner. No way, no way. I don't think he's. A, I don't think he's a. 
like any kind of labourer. I don't think he's any kind of builder, plasterer, any of the trades. I don't think he's any of the trades, but he's certainly not an accountant. This is before people would have your kind of like ironic sort of moustache and kind of cool. That was that wasn't cool. That was just like you've got a moustache. Ryan, and smiles away. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for tier two sub. Thank you very much. Alan Johnson's beamer. Thank you very much for the sub. Caroline, hey, another wonderful. I'm gonna guess that he is. I possibly a teacher. He looks. Possibly a teacher. I'm gonna. I think he's involved in one of one of the intellects. One of the intellectual pursuits. One of the creative, the creative pursuits. I like architect, or you know something like that. I don't think. Red dress, that's a beauty, isn't it? Shoulders. Great. Yes. Yeah, I say. Who have got these? We have John and Philomena McDermott from Glasgow. Really? Oh, Fucking okay, yes. yes. Hey, Philomena, huh? yes. McDermott from Glasgow. I love Glasgow. It's one of my favourite cities there. John. Yes. A job that we've never had. I fucking love this guy. I, I feel so bad for for what I said about him before. I love Glasgow. It's one of my favourite cities. Oh, there. John, you, that's another one to say. Philomena, huh? Yes. McDermott from Glasgow. I love Glasgow. It's one of my favourite cities there. John, you, you, you've got a job that we oh, huh? see him, sir. McDermott from Glasgow. I love Glasgow. It's one of my favourite cities there. John, you, you're, you've got a job that. Poor Falkirk, eh? Falkirk, didn't get that? Falkirk, didn't get that? Falkirk, right next to him. We've never. Wait a minute. Either there. Falkirk, didn't get that? Enterprises. Thanks for the sub. Smiles away. Thank you for the five months. Oh, you've done that. Thank you. Thank you. Had on this show before. Tell us what you do. Uh, install alarm systems. Fire alarms. Burglar alarms. Burglar alarms, eh? Any electrical yeah. equipment. You met... Hmm. No, that's... I was wrong. That's a trade. That's a, that's a electrician now. Electrician. Electrician. If any of you said electrician or one of the trades... Philomena, because of your job. Now, mm -hmm. where, where was that? Where was Dublin. That? Dublin? Yeah. Yes, that's I where see. I come from. I love this bit. You took John home to visit your parents so, at Christmas, and over the lunch, John said he was having problems with his digs, and Philomena's mum... Has so, problem with his what? At Christmas, and over the lunch, John said he was having problems with his digs. Goose Odyssey thinks it's a little mother sub. Here's my... A year of facial ageing, hairline receding, weight gain, and suicidal contemplating shite. Give me another year, mama. You're welcome. I've, I've, I've actually lost weight since I stopped to the show. And Philomena's mum took pity on him and offered him a bed for the night and he stayed six months. Eighteen months! <laughs> he stayed eighteen months! That sounds Irish. She's a good kicker. Yeah. And if you didn't pay, it sounds Scottish. <laughs> oh! Here's the Christmas Caroline. That was it there, everybody! That was it there! That was it fucking there! I was rang! I was rang the whole time! I was rang the whole time. Everybody, this is a moment. Everybody, everybody, this is a moment. This is a moment. Everybody, this is a moment. This is a moment. Now, what is the moment? Hold on a second. What is the moment? Fake memories. I've got a problem with fake memories. See when I wrote my autobiography, I had to check with fucking Lynn, check with my da, check did this happen, did that happen, did this happen, and I checked and double checked. Because there's some things I think fucking happened, and then I asked somebody and they go, that's not how it happened. Why it was? How? That, that, what? What? Don't say the Mandela effect because the Mandela effect in itself is a Mandela effect because nay cunt thought that Nelson Mandela died, right? See this Mandela effect, if you don't know what Mandela effect is, it's the phenomenon of a collective false memory because like something like when Nelson Mandela died, a lot of people thought, but I thought he was already dead, I thought he died in jail. Nobody thought he died in fucking jail. The, the, the phenomenon of the Mandela effect, the idea that the, the creation of that fucking thing is in itself Mandela effect. Nobody's fucking thought that 
He died in jail. Never did he? Anyway, see this? See this fucking episode? I watched this. What one you gonna choose? I watched this when it was... Oh fuck. Fire alarms, burglar. I watched this when it was on tell at the time. And I hated Ted Rogers after what he just says here. What he's about to say. Because I didn't... Because I... I, I didn't get it. I have thought for fucking years. I mentioned this the other night. See when I first played this. See when I first played th uh, three, two, one. I mentioned how I hated Ted Rogers, and I wanted him to fucking die because of what he said on this episode. And I didn't know it was this one. See when I saw that this was today with Scotland, I thought, is this the one he's going to actually say it? I always thought that there was somebody Irish who came on. And he said something like, oh, that's a bit Irish, or that sounds a bit Irish. The way that, remember I was saying there was this sort of kind of casual fucking racism, or whatever you want to call it, or, or full-blown fucking racism, or xenophobia, or bigotry, or whatever you want to call it, where Irish meant topsy-turvy, or a bit daft, or you've done that kind of rang, that's a bit kind of, you've got that all mixed up. As if it's all, as if the Irish were known for getting all things all muddled up and all that. You see, the way it works is, nothing against any English people, N nothing against any English people here, but the way it works is, there you got your English and that's your default. That's your normal person. Then you've got the Scots who are misers. The Irish who are, who are like daft and get everything all mixed up. The Welsh, what, 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 what were the Welsh? Same. Sheep shaggers or something. The French, who are like that. The Germans, who are like that. The Spanish, who are like that. Basically everybody else. And then you go to English, who are. Default, the, the default. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not here to talk, I'm not here to get all serious. SNX and Migraine Boy and Min, do you thank you very much for the subs? Dr. Flame, thank you, Justin. Help us go, thanks for gifting that sub to Haggis Heads. Rex Ray Sausages, thanks for the turn bits. I watched this episode and it was because of this episode at that very fucking moment oh, there. Arms, eh? In electrical yeah. equipment. You met Philomena because of your job, now where, where was that? Where in was Dublin. That? Dublin? Yeah. Yes, that's I where see. I love this bit. You took John home to visit your parents so, at Christmas, and over the lunch, John said he was having problems with his digs, and Philomena's mum took pity on him and offered him a bed for the night, and he stayed six months. 18 months! <laughs> he stayed 18 months! That sounds Irish. She was a good kicker. Mm. If you didn't pay, it sounds Scottish. Mm. <laughs> okay, here's the Christmas, Caroline. What one are you going to oh, choose? There was an edit there, everybody. Mm. If you didn't pay, it sounds Scottish. Mm. <laughs> Look at Philomena laughing, right? Watch what happens in the next shot. <laughs> it's been edited. So, just forgetting about how I reacted to that at the time, what, what's he saying? You... You... Right, he was, he was having probably his digs, basically, where he was staying. Like, the flat that he was living in, or the room that he was living in some place. Philomena's ma took pity on him. When he visited today, the fucking, I don't know, like, day their alarms or maybe the boyfriend and girlfriend at the time, and let him stay for six months. Oh, sorry, 18 months. He stayed for 18 months. That sounds Irish. And if, if he didn't pay her, that sounds Scottish. Right, if he didn't pay her, because the Scots are, the stereotype with Scots are misers, hence um, Scrooge McDuck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why that's that's Irish. Even based on the stereotype, based on the fucking that whole. Oh, that's a bit Irish. That's a bit topsy turvy. It doesn't actually make any sense. What does it mean? What does it mean? Generous and welcoming. I, I. If, if I, no, no, there is no way. He means, oh, letting you stay for 18 months, that sounds quite, quite Irish. 
you know, that sounds quite an Irish thing, you know, to, to be really um, welcoming and warm and, no, 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 listen, make yourself at home, make yourself at home, stay as long as you want, there is no way he'd be saying that, you, you, you don't, you don't get people at him cracking wee jokes, like, who, who do things like that, actually saying something nice, he did, don't, no way, Irish are generous, but he wouldn't say that. The thing today back then is not talk about fucking another uh, people from other nations like supposed fucking pros. You talk about the cons. You talk about no, no it's not a joke. Uh, well, what is the fucking joke? What is the joke? Staying for 18 months is him staying for 18 months meant to be Irish. It's just a setup. No, no, you don't, don't, don't. Slay man. Slay man who says just a setup. Don't lower your standards of getting things into your head and understanding the basis of things by just. It's just a setup, there, Joe. It's just a setup. What does it mean? Oh, the Glasgow guy did that. He did that smile, did he? Fit saying incredible thanks for the subs. So anyway, the Irish thing. This is Caroline, what one are you going to choose? Mm. If you didn't pay, it sounds Scottish. Mm. <laughs> okay, here's the question, Caroline, what one are you going to choose? Good kicker. Mm. If you didn't pay, it sounds Scottish. Mm. <laughs> okay, here's the question, Caroline, what one are you going to choose? Anyway, I didn't actually get... It's about Irish travels, right? Do we think that? Irish travels, right. Hi, smoker, thanks for three quid. Have you ever lunged a, lunged a big bong of hash or ripped a joint with a bit of solid inside? I don't know what you mean, mate. You talking about have I, have I, have I had a joint? I, I don't like hash, mate. I don't like hash or any, any uh, marijuana-based drugs. Never, never been, never agreed with that drug. If, if, if you're asking a serious question, I've never agreed with that drug. My brain has never agreed with that drug. Poppers, acid, eckies, aye. That, no. Booze, aye. Hangovers, no. Um. Booze. Right, so see, because of that, see when he said... Uh, I always thought he said, and I had this memory for fucking years, I thought, I knew that he said, oh that sounds Irish, <laughs> and then I had that in my mind, he said, eh, if, it, if, it, if it was any more stupid, it would have been Scottish, like I thought they told a story about, you know, I didn't quite get it, so I knew that he was saying something like that, Christ he's still processing it, be quiet, I, I like, and see, because of that fucking episode that I watched, was that 1985? So what fucking age was I then? 1985, so most of that I was in 1974. So I was, like, I was like 10. 10, possibly 11. The second that came out his mouth, I watched this when it was on. The second that came out his mouth, I thought... Because <laughs> I didn't... I, I, in my memory... I've got no recollection of this being a programme about Scotland on St Andrew's Day, that these, that, that, he, that guy there, himself was Scottish. And I remember, ever since that, I thought, I want this fucking cunt to die. That's what I thought in my ten-year-old brain. I thought, I want this fucking guy to die. I'm no joking. I fucking hated him after that. Because I thought he was saying the Scots are daft. No, you should, you could, you could go out. Well, should you not actually be outraged on behalf of fucking Scots and the Irish? I was ten. I was just thinking about like I didn't quite get what he was saying. I thought he was taking. I, I didn't quite get what he was saying. I didn't know what was going on. I just know he had a fucking dig 
it is Scottish people which arm. And I wanted him to die. So much so that see when he and, and I said this the other night, see when he fucking died. But during either, I think during a heart operation. I think I was in my twenties, and he was only in his fucking like f- fucking fifties or sixties. I was fucking happy. I was like, good. I I thought to myself, I made that happen. I made that happen. You know, like 15 years later, I thought, I made that happen. By wishing bad on him all that time. And then I watched a wee bit of This Is Your Life. With him and everybody in the comments section on YouTube saying, decent guy, decent, decent guy. He was always a decent guy. Really nice to fans, not really decent guy. Decent, decent guy. And I was like, oh, fuck. Niles he thinks of two and a bit. The joke seems like a traveller's joke on Irish for eighteen months stay, and then if you didn't pay them, that would be a Scottish move because Scots. No, no, I get that bit is that it was Irish, but I didn't quite get. No, no, no. Doctor Owen thinks of three and a bit, but I don't think he's getting mixed up with the six and eighteen, and that's the Irish thing. No. Make a week thinks of two quid, mate. He fucked up his line. He tried to scramble. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. But he's just making, I mean the Irish one's bad, but with the Scottish one, he's just making the wee usual, oh if you didn't pay, you know, you're a bit miserly. That's just, that was just something that was said back then, I, didn't, I don't give two fucks about that. I thought it was worse. With the Scottish thing. But what he said, the Irish thing, if there's any Irish viewers, there he is. But he's dead now anyway. So all this time, all this time, in terms of his feeling towards Scots, he's actually been alright. Loves Glasgow. But in solidarity with my Irish viewers, he must be condemned. Days at pace, thanks for two quid. Yes, Kenroy, thanks for 300 bits, thanks. Rogers, a known English supremacist. You missed joke about Welsh second home burners last night. I didn't miss it last night, it was the other night. Cancer, thanks for 913 sub. Nine months, baby, finally welcome my own part of baby. We Mary Craigette, Jessa Bologna, Parson. I hope this isn't part theft. No, no. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much, Cancer. Thanks. Jason, thanks for the 40 months three sub. Where the hell? Dan Cake, thanks for the sub. Number two or number three is for you. You want number two? Okay. Same procedure, remember? Right, so. You've had a go. You've had your kind of wee joke at the Irish, and your joke at the Scots. It's just, it's just a bit of fun. Just a bit of fun, man. It's just a wee laugh, everybody, right? Just a bit of fun, man. Answer alternately. And if you don't know, say don't know. It's much better that way. At least you can build up your score. The question just here again fun. is about sporting venues, which are not interested. Heading park jumping with rugby, rugby. I see what he's actually doing here. He's getting the Scots. To fight amongst themselves. Zavania, thanks for the sub. League, you name it. Nice start. Off you go with Caroline. We'll see you in round two. Let's have our third couple playing our quiz tonight. Right, so we've had Falkirk, which is about 25 miles east of Glasgow, towards Edinburgh. We've had Glasgow itself. We better get. I don't think we're going to go up north, everybody. I think it's going to be a still. We're going to stick in the central belt. Possibly Edinburgh. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, Linda. Who's couple number three? We have Jim and Anna Martin from Paisley. Paisley? Paisley. Paisley. We're going west, everybody. West. I've been through there many times on one night stands. Is he your. Paisley. Paisley. 
lovely. I've been through there many times on one night stands. You see, you're in the double glazing business. Uh, I've been through there many times on one night stands. Is that is that a, is that a reference to a song? Why would he say that? I've been through it paisley many times on one night stands. What is it? What does it mean? Is he referencing something? He's not. He's not just simply saying me down here in London. I have occasionally went all the way up to fucking Paisley for one night stands with women that I have somehow met. That's for Paisley. Not just once, but multiple times. He wouldn't just say that. Surely he's one night stand stand up show. One night stands. Paisley. Gethin when Jones thinks a fourteen month three sub. Oh Michael Burke. It's funny these ones that seem all nice, they always fuck up at the end, then at the end of their life. I'm I'm still waiting for Rich uh, David Attenborough to fuck it up. Get himself cancelled. Daniel Raffey thinks of two and a bit sweet cast Galloway thinks of thirty month three sub, thank you. And what what do you do? Uh sell Double glazing for domestic, uh, and especially to trade out. Like, mm -hmm. so yeah, do you put do it so. in, or do you leave that to the other guys? Oh, I leave that to them. Uh, right. What do you do? Uh, so he's not actually he's not actually practiced this one. Um, ah, uh, double glazing. Do you, you're in the double glazing business. Aye. And what what do you do? Uh, sell double glazing. I sell. Double glazing, to. When we sell it, we sell it to, we do sell it to people, but it's actually mostly trade, it's mostly to the, oh you're cutting me off, alright, right. For domestic, uh, it's actually to trade out. Like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, do you put it in or do you leave that to the other guys? Oh, I, I, I didn't, Ted, I didn't actually finish what I was saying there. Ted, I didn't actually finish what I was saying there. I was going to say domestic, but it's actually mostly trade. And you could hear that I was about to say something. I was just finding my confidence there. And now you're interrupting me. And now you're going to give me a fucking start on me. Because I'm like, oh, fuck, what is that? That fucking USB's that? Leave that to them. And it's actually to trade out. Uh, sell double glazing for domestic uh, it's actually to trade out like, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, do I you put it in or do you leave that to the other guys oh I leave that to them and you're well done Ted what Ted did there was actually really really nice him there because even though he interrupted him you obviously could see he was maybe a bit nervous struggling a wee bit and he came in but the question that he actually asked so would you fit it yourself or do you leave that to them and the guy went oh it's oh, fucking no, I'll leave that, I'll leave that to them. He made him think back to the, the fun he has in his work, thinking, of, hearing the stories about, oh, fucking see the windies you gave me. Try to fit them, windies are brilliant, by the way, but try to fit them all fucking day. A fucking nightmare of pissing the rain, the wind was coming in. The, the windy nearly fell out, we were two fucking flights up. The windies nearly fell right out in the fucking street below. And he's heard all these stories. And that took him out of the studio, pressure, the pressure of the studio and in his life and it gave him a chuckle. Decent guy. Decent guy. Hobbies, got to be careful here. <laughs> Jim likes karate. Yeah? yeah? Ooh, Just see so you feel? chopping all the old windows out. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Anna, all this karate? Do you mind that? Yeah? Just see so. you chopping all the old windows out. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Anna, all this karate? Mm -hmm. but, what? Yeah. yeah? I just see you chopping all the old windows out. Huh? How do you feel about that? He is Daniel fucking... Yeah. yeah? I just see you chopping all the old windows out. Huh? How do you feel about Fuck that? Fuck me. Hey, listen. Party. Now, watch between the end of this shot and the start of the next shot. Look at him. Yeah. There's yeah. that. I just see you there's, there's that, right? There's a wee bit of, There's a wee bit of Freddie Mercury about him. Not just because of the moustache. Um. Is it, there was a there's a jerk in the just heat. See you chopping all the old. 
I, I think it's maybe because of that, because Freddie Mercury with the teeth, it sometimes be like that. When the hey, watch. Fucking look at that, man. What? Look. Myth open, myth shut. Myth open, myth shut. So, something must have happened there. I think there was a... I, can you notice the micro expressions? Can you notice the kind of nerves? Can you notice it? There was a breathing in, you know, as if he's about to go like that. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. What's that, sorry? I can't, I can't do this. I can't, I can't, I, I, I need to leave. I need to, I, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. Pandemonium, thanks to 41.3. month so important to note that you and Ted are the same age here. You should start dressing smart for these streams. Bullshit. Let's find out, everybody. Ted Rogers. This is 1985. Born in 1933. So he was... 52? 50, 50 fucking two? 50 fucking two? 45? Necro Necromancer in Chris Albin, thanks for subs. Chris Albin, one of the earliest names in the stream. On that clip thing. Reese Thomas and Jay and Tom, Dark Elf, thank you very much for the subs. What about that, Anna, all this karate? Do you mind? Yeah? And to them. And your hobbies? Right. Look, your hobbies are karate. And he, he's just like, gonna please take the fucking spotlight off of me. He doesn't, he doesn't even know what to say. He, he, he just looks down. And then he, he goes, yes, stop fucking pausing it. Brownie, see if, Brownie, see if you want to fucking watch this, mate. It's on YouTube. Brownie 30, stop fucking pausing it. See if you want to watch this. Go to YouTube. I'm looking at just go like that. Gotta be careful here. <laughs> Jim likes... And stick the fucking camera off. I am... The reason why this is uh, fair usage is because I am using, I am, we are viewing this for critical purposes. Baby Adan, thanks for the sub. To the other guys. Oh, I'll leave that to them. And your <laughs> hobbies, gotta be careful here. <laughs> Jim likes karate. Look. Yeah? I just see uh, you chopping all the- Um, he got his father saying, um, he got his father saying, um, um, your windows out. Oh, he is fucking struggling there, man. That's like, that's panic there. That is panic. That is, that's, I've been like that with a lot of hangover. When you've got the horrors, when you've got that feeling like, don't know what to say. And you don't feel confident with that kind of don't know what to say. Sometimes, I mean, like, you feel, you feel like, it's over. You feel like it's over. This is it now. This, this is the end of my life now. This is it. You're put on the spot. You're in so much fear. Where we, maybe a wee joke that's made and you don't quite get it or you get it but you don't quite know how to. I was at a fucking here. I was at a birthday party last night and some folk were coming up to me who recognised me. Who, who, I recognise me, so coming in and talking, one or two of them coming in and talking to me, and just to let you know, I'm not the sort, of, I'm not the cunt that you see here on the stream, right? I'm not the asshole that you see here on the stream. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly polite and friendly. I swear to God, I'm polite and friendly in real life. I swear to God, too, too friendly, you could say, too accommodating. But see, occasionally there's music fucking playing. Music playing. My hearing's already fucked. I don't know if it's because I've got the earphones in. I honestly, you know, somebody was crouching down next to me, chatting to me. I could make out a quarter of what he was saying. And I sort of piece it together in my head. But it takes a wee half a second to, for me to piece it together in my head. Like, if I put these words together, it probably means this. So if he's cracking a wee joke, however, the person that was speaking to me, I was because we uh, watched Requiem and thinking, I was going to say, you know, and I, I'm going to go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so, so it's a uh, requiem, I requiem you saw. I have to, I have to, I must come across like there's something, like, you know, like, uh, uh, like, you all say I've got fucking dementia. I must come across as having dementia. I've met people who have got fucking dementia and I'm like, that's how I come across. Like, I, uh, oh, I, yeah, there's nothing up with my fucking ears. I've had them tested twice. I've had them looked at twice. They don't need syringed. They're not damaged. As per usual, there's nothing wrong with me. My dead low heart rate. Oh, oh my God. I go and get it checked. Nothing wrong with me. Nothing's fucking wrong with me. My hearing's always been shite. See, going to a pub, bit of music in the background, can't hear anybody. It's probably one of the things that led to me drinking so much. Because, see, if I was like me, and I'm standing next to a person there, and a person there, and a person there, bit of music, can't hear them. And I just go into mine, wee bubble. And I just go, fuck it, I'm getting another pint. Fuck it, I'm getting another pint. Fuck it, I'm getting another pint. Can't hear anybody anyway. I can't remember why I started talking about this, but this guy's got the fear. Well, the old windows out. <laughs> Oof. How do you feel about it? Likes karate. Yeah. Yeah? I just see oh. you chopping all the old windows out. How do you feel about that, Anna? Yeah? yeah? I just oh. see you chopping all the old windows out. Oh, I... So when, when I was getting spoken to about these things and somebody said, I, I watch Requiem, Requiem's a favourite. I, I, I was in a, I was in a Requiem and there was a, the, 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 the boys. James, thanks for the, the, the sub ninja. Forbidden. Boombastic. Roombastic. And Ambo, thank you very much for the subs. Help us because thanks for two quid. Important to note that you are just as ethnicist towards the English as Ted is to the Scottish and the Irish in this video. You should start dressing like a prejudiced cunt from these streams. For you to say, Hell Whiskers, that the English are an ethnic um, group is in itself racist. How do you feel about that, Anna, all this karate? Do you mind that? Yeah? I just see you chopping all the old windows out. How do you feel about that, Anna, all this karate? Do you mind that? Well, I actually joined it as well. For oh, did you? Hell whiskers outing himself there, eh? Hell whiskers outing himself there. There's only one type of English. Only one type of English. Me. England for the English. Oh, bloody Hell whiskers. Hell whiskers. No, the first time actually. There was something else Hell Whiskers said that I almost fucking banned them for. Can't remember. Actually, you know what I'm gonna have to do. Um, I had to. I'm gonna have to on VIP uh, Hell Whiskers. You cannot be seen as an ambassador uh, for this stream. You cannot be. You cannot be viewed as an ambassador for the stream I cast you down with the non-VIP vermin uh, that was a hellish terrible really low can I just apologise to all my new viewers Dr. Owen thinks they're two on a bits Whiskers voted Brexit of course he fucking did he probably voted Brexit and voted Tory in a kind of funny ironic way but he did it anyway Little Captain Smiler, thanks for the subs. Really better get out of the way here. For all this karate, do you mind that? Well, I actually joined it as well. For oh, did you? Oh, bloody, I really better get out of the way here. It was for exercise. I could just see him helping with the washing. Go on, stop fucking interrupting. She's saying I did it for the exercise. She's having a chat with you. You want a bit of small talk? She's saying I actually did it for the exercise, and you're like, shut up. Shut up. I've got a fucking pre written joke here, and I'm no very good. I kind of just kind of like hold fire and listen to you and go, oh, you did it for the exercise. Once I've got it in my mind that I'm just about to say my joke, nothing must stand in its way. I'm no very good. Up a pile of oh, bloody, I really better get out of the way here. It was for exercise. I could just see him helping with the washing up a pile of dishes and nutting him. Can't you just see that? You're a housewife and a mum. Nutting them. I don't think he's stooky anybody. I don't think he actually he'd butt anybody with karate. Oh. Oh, it's because they're Scottish, right? Now, see. I'm helping with the washing up, a pile of dishes and nutting them. Can't you just see that? You're a housewife and a mum now, and what do you have? Boy, girl, boy. A little boy. How old is he? 22 months. Oh, lovely. quite young, lovely. And you used to be a nanny and an assistant in a record shop. 
Not the same time. No, well, you could have done it at the same time. <laughs> Ted. Ted, mate. Ted. Are you about... Are you ab about to make a joke off the top of your head? Are you sure? Or is this a pre-written one? Nanny? He wo she worked as a nanny and, a re and in a record shop. She said not at the same time. And he's like, oh, well, well, well you could have. Is he about to crack a joke off the top of his fucking head? Care cakes, it was because he went and said something after it cast down. He didn't say, like, oh no, I've, you got the right person. Thank you very much for the bits, but. A little towards the Hell Whiskers band fund, says Fruit Machine. Hell Whiskers, the con for a band, mate. North Motherwell Young Team, thanks to 513 sub. Evil Roy Slade, thanks to 2 quid. Gaming night, I'm going to try and play a wee game. I'll try and play a wee game later, but we'll get, we'll get through this pretty quickly, alright? Sinead plays thanks to 250 bits. You're describing auditory processing disorder, sensory processing disorder, tertia, vet, audiology, and so on. You know, Sinead plays, I've looked at that, I've looked at that, and I've looked at that as part of ADHD or way ADHD because I remember how I thought I've maybe got ADHD and I went to get it tested and they're like, I maybe, maybe no. As usual, fuck all this. Fucking something up with me, I fucking know there is. And I've looked up that thing where you can hear all right. But you sort of don't quite take it in. I'm like that all the time. My couple looks like, oh, I, I just sort of don't take things in, I almost don't hear. But my hearing actually is, actually, on top of that, is bad. It's muffled. And I know a lot of people like this watching the telly, but I swear to fucking God, I am like that. I'm like that. I'm like that. Remember I was telling you before, I was listening to some music and I think I was in here, I can't remember if I was in here, and I was like, I can't hear any. Where's the fucking hi-hats? I put hi-hats in that. But I think it was my own music or I was listening to some other music to try and see how much, how loud the hi-hats were in my song. I thought, so there's no hi-hats in that. I thought there was. I went like that. And then I could just suddenly hear, When I do that, I can hear all the kind of high frequencies. See, without doing it, I kind of fucking... It is no wax. And there's nothing that wrong with my fucking eardrum. Know that they can see through there. It's fucked. I've had it looked, haven't I? Talo thinks of 713 sub. Best community on Twitch except for that one cunt. Oh, I know. Nelsie thinks of 200 bits. I know what's wrong with you. You're a bam. Nelsie, please, please, please tell me that wasn't you that came out with that part of me. I know what's wrong with you, you're a bam. Nelsie, please tell me you didn't just say that. Please. That is bannable, that. That is. Hell, Whiskers, thanks for two quid. I stand by the ugliness, the horribleness of what I, I've said. The mask slipped and there's no fixing things. I'm too old to learn. I'm too old to change. The only recourse is a proper ban. I'm sorry. I couldn't be better. That's, now that's how you apologise. This. This here is how you apologise. Wow. That's how you say sorry. Wow. A full onage. Cam's daddy thanks for the 50 minutes three something. Don't say your goddamn apology. Tell him I thanks. Nelsie thinks of 200 bits. Nelsie they're calling for a ban. Bam. Psychic suffer thinks of 500 bits. No, she could have done it at the same time. I mean, if the baby needed... Definitely. This is definitely... There is no way this is off the top of his head. He already had this joke scripted about the fact that she worked as a nanny and in a record shop. And he's going to make a joke about how, no, at this, at this, the same time. She already came out with that. He wasn't expecting that. No, well, you could have done it at the same time. <laughs> look, 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 he's like, oh. wait a minute. No, she could have done it at the same time. I mean, if the baby needed a clean nappy, you could set it on automatic change. <laughs> switch it over to the backside. And wait for the new releases. Now, 
Let's have your question, shall we? Here we are. Third envelope. Thanks, Linda. Knee round the applause for that. Knee round the applause for that. that. Is that a new really change? <laughs> no, she could have done it at the shop. Not at the same time. No, we. Well, you could have done it at the same time. <laughs> How did they, why did they not applaud that? Why did they not applaud that? Because... No, she could have done it at the same time. I mean, if the baby needed a clean nappy, you could set it on automatic change. That's an old record. Turn. Switch it over to the back side. Back side of the record, you wouldn't know. Stay with, stay with tapes as well. And wait for the new releases. Now, let's... New releases. Have your questions. <laughs> really funny. Back side. He did a clean nappy. Could have done it at the same time. <laughs> because she almost preempted, or she said that we'll know at the same time. That wasn't planned, but because she said that, it looked like that was after tapy seed. That audience should have been gone fucking gaga there. They should have been like. Out their fucking seats. They should have been like that. Standing fucking. I look at me, he's like, no way, man. I'm fucking. He's like that. See the, him there. See see that face? That look to the camera. And an assistant. He's like, oh my god. I have just been gifted. A gift from the comedy fucking gods. I have just been handed from high. A gift. This is going to make me look like I have just come up with this. Because you can see that she's not scripted. You set me up, right? You set me up by saying, well, not at the same time. They know, everybody knows that's not how it works. He's like, oh my God, this is like, I'm going to be like in fucking clip shows for like years to come. In a record shop. Not at the same time. No, well, you could have done it at the same time. <laughs> Bang, there. He's like, I can't believe it. He's probably looking there because he's actually looking at the team, the writing team, who are watching to see if he's delivering the jokes properly. And he's probably looking at them like, can you fucking believe this? This is a sitter. This is a fucking sitter. Here we go. Get ready for the crowd to go fucking wild. No, she could have done it at the same time. I mean, if the baby needed a clean nappy, you could set it on automatic change. <laughs> Switch it over to the back side. And wait for the new releases. Now, let's have your question, shall we? Here we are. Third envelope. Thanks, Linda. That means that... And the applause. And the two of them did the fake laughing. Some people say that... See, if you're doing a genuine smile or a laugh, this is what some people say, but it depends if you're a wee bit shy about your smile and the laughing. Some people say that a genuine laugh is kind of like here or like up the way. Fake is sort of doing you. You're almost trying to hide your fucking face. That's the one. He says, now... Look, the two of them did let's it. have your questions. Over to the back side <laughs> and wait for the new releases. Now... The two of them go down, look. The two of them go down. <laughs> That's what I was like at that party last night. <laughs> I honestly, I did this once or twice this look. Somebody would say something, aye, because of the, the video, you know, the one with the uh, Thunder Wins against us or something, something. And we ended up thingy, thingy, and I'm like, <laughs> So, so that was, that was, she turned to, turned to wins against us. Aye. <laughs> oh, Christ. I, I remember. Did I say last night to somebody something like, oh, that was, Christ, that was ages ago, that. Christ, that was, that was quite, you know, I, I think I was just about to say something about how, was like, oh, that was ages ago. Just to, f just to fill in the kind of void of me not really having anything to say in response to what this person said. And I was about to say some shite part about, like, oh, Christ, that was ages ago, that. When it isn't really, I mean, it is, it is like, 
eight years ago, but I don't give a fuck. I've got no opinion on whether whether that was ages ago, and I, but I was about to act as if I felt that it was ages ago, just to fill the fucking silence, because I've got nothing to say. You know, imagine somebody says this. Oh, I got sent her in that fucking video, uh, Requiem. Got sent that a bit, you know, uh, about six months ago. Put your, put your, put your, uh, put yourself in my shoes, right? This is what I have to do, right? Oh, aye, <laughs> aye, Christ, uh, was that Re Requiem, aye? You got sent that six months ago, Christ, that's an old one, that. That's an old one, that one, that one. That's, that's an old, that's an old one, that one. <laughs> Oh, Requiem, aye. Did you know, did you know it's not actually a personal phone, I'm actually, I sometimes I said my Q&A, I've said it in my Q&A, um, quite a few times, uh, <laughs> I'm dead sorry, I'm dead sorry, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, you've got to understand, I've had this conversation, um, this is like, this is honestly like Groundhog Day, I felt that I've had this conversation, um, probably two, three hundred times about this one video, and that I have to kind of go like that. Um, I have to go like that. <laughs> oh, aye, aye, aye. <laughs> I'm not talking about when somebody comes up to me in the street and says, "Let me can I get a picture." Oh, aye, 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 definitely. Oh, by the way, my favourite one's Requiem. Re oh, oh, glad to fucking hear it. Glad you like it. Right, I'll see you later. See, see you later. See, right. And I think to myself, oh, that one's, that person's favourite one's Requiem. That's good, that. I mean, people say they like Requiem, but normally they say, it's turned the wines against us or something like that. And that's it. But the person was there, next to me, at my seat, for three, four minutes, just me and them chatting. And I can hardly fucking hear them. And I kind of just keep going like that. Sorry, I can't hear you. Sorry, I can't hear you. Sorry, I can't hear you. Sorry, it's just quicker to go like that. <laughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> Aye. Christ. Wait enough, I. <laughs> Aye. Well, that's what I was saying. I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, I was saying. That's what I was saying. The thing I was saying, 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 saying. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I remember that one. I remember that one. I. She's turned the wings against us when I'm walking down the street. Uh, yeah. She's turned the wings against us when I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, man. That was me. Ha. <laughs> No way, man! Ha 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 thanks for 200 bits. Putting on my fa facade. I just like to get done to business. I like chatting about my stuff a bit, but then I want to get done to business. Which is... Fucking tell me something about yourself that you don't tell any cunt else, man. That's what I want to fucking know. Chili Lobster, thanks for the sub. Spaznog and a boner for Biffy, thanks for the subs. Thank you very much. Sunfreak. And Nick, thanks for the subs and gift subs. Phil Mitchell, Teddy Picker, Calica, thank you very much. Let's have your question, Zoe. There we are. Liars, With man. Means oh, wait a minute. Luck, it's the same question. Dress. You... Dress. Let's have your question, Zoe. There Come we in, are. Bit of dress. Third envelope, thanks, Linda. That means that's the right, 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 right. Right. Third. 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 Envelope. People tick on the seats. John and Philomena, five hundred and sixty. Oh, Sorry that we got to say goodbye. Fifty fucking quid. Fifty. What? Ah. <gasps> they got men. In case you in case you don't know how it works, by the way, see in the first round. Um. You answer questions and you might get like, oh, 30 quid, 40 quid, 50 quid, 60 quid. See, in the second round, 
for every question you get right, you get multiples of that first lot. Right? Right, so they've got 60 quid there. 60. Every question you get right. Ah, yeah, it was nearly there. A wonderful film producer, of course, The Killing Four Fields eight. and Chariots right, so of Fire. Was that eight? The question for you. Nice and top of it there. So, well, so they fucked it. Material of activity. So they got fucking nothing. We give you the name and we want you to say in which activity they are particularly well known. Now, Charles Schultz is a person who's well known cartoonist. as a cartoonist. We'll start you with that one. Charles Schultz is a cartoonist. Patrick Moore. Ed, uh, astronomer. Ah, oh, no, I'm sorry about. No, I'm sorry, mate. No, no astrology, astronomy. <laughs> no, no going to give you that. Patrick Moore's not an astrologer; he's an astronomist. <laughs> Two very different things. One's fucking actually looking at the stars and all that. The other one's fucking horoscopes, mate. <laughs> nope. That fucked his confidence up. See, with them no getting that, no being given that. That's just like the, the, the stacked against us. Fucking stacked against us. Fucking. I'll see. Thanks to Tour Bits, would you rather be stranded on a desert island with hell whiskers, Nailsy or Boris? Eh, Nailsy. Xander thinks the Tour 45 bits. I get it, you're past all the old part and it's about the new Twitch part. Kinda, but you know, I like things to be new. Stephen Duffy thinks the Fiverr, she's turned the wings against us. <laughs> Struzers thinks they're two quid, saw your Vine show in Aberdeen and I felt awkward for you having to do all your old material in the Q&A. In my opinion, the streaming is your best material. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed all the shows, by the way. Patrick Moore. Astrology. Ah, no, I'm sorry about that, Jimmy. It really is it's so close. It's an astronomer. OK, astrology, not far away, but sorry about he that. So again, you only had what you had at the end of the first round, but it's still £50. Pounds for away with that, Jimmy. Moore. They are particularly well known. Now, Charles Schultz... I'm sorry. Sorry. ...is a person who's well known as a cartoonist. We'll start you with that one. Charles Schultz is a... Cartoonist. Patrick Moore. Astrology. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry about that, Jimmy. It really is it's so close. It's an astronomer. OK, astrology, not far away, but sorry about that. So, again, you only have what you had at the end of the first round, but it's still £50. Pounds. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Sorry, what? They had 30 seconds on the clock? They had 30 seconds on the fucking clock? What happened there? What just happened there? As soon as you get a wrong answer, it's over. Bullshit. No, no, no. Pass or get... Get it correct? Oh, really? Can you close? Well known. We give you the name and we want you who have become for each correct answer. Again, a very good luck to you. Four, fifty pounds for each correct answer. Now the question is about people who have become famous in one particular area of activity. We give you the name and we want you to say in which activity they are particularly well known. Right. Now Charles Schultz. Right, right, right. John and they've got indeed. Good. You know, Richmond, of course, is ice skating. Marvellous. Wait, wait. Here, they, Philomena, they, 70 pounds they, they have. They didn't, they didn't say... They, he didn't say that's the rules. Josh, thanks for three quid. 1917, is it any good? I'll restart the stream for you, mate. Carver, thanks for three quid. Lovely stream, Lummy. Have you ever pretended you don't know about something when someone tries to tell you about it just because it'd be an easier conversation? All the time. All the time. I have actually, I have been in the presence of some people. I have worked with certain people, been involved in certain types of work and all that, with some, some people who, they tell me things I already know. And I go, all oh, right, right, mm-hmm. Right. And Eiffel Tower, the Eiffel Tower was a, or oh, Statue of Liberty was a gift for, for France to, and I go, oh, aye, 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 mm-hmm, mm-hmm, right, uh-huh, yeah, aye, uh-huh, yeah, 
You know, like that. Right. Right. Because I don't like going like that. No, I know, I know. I know that. I know that. I just go like that. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just did. I just did that. Um, and with this same person, I've then said something to them that they already know, and they go like, I don't know. Unreal, that isn't it? I don't know. That's the way this per this person spoke. I don't know. Have you said something that they already know? I don't know. Are you too nice or just not con confrontational? Too too nice. I'm not even bothered. I'm not even. I'm not even bothered. I'm just like if somebody's telling me something that I already know. I just go like, oh aye, right. Mm -hmm. Because for me to say, uh, oh I know, I know. There's a percent percentage of a chance that they might think I'm saying to them. I know that. You're saying it like I don't know that, but I already know that. So I just kind of go like, all right. Aye, uh-huh, right. Hellbiscus thinks the two quid. It's important to note that you and Ted were very similar in this video because you've gutted me tonight for a small misstep, just like Ted would gutted that poor man with a trade. Thanks. You gutted yourself, Hell Hellbiscus. You gutted yourself. Now you're still not accepting any blame because you're putting the blame on me, mate. It's all you. It's all you. So it was a fake apology you made. Is that what you're saying? It was a fake apology. Your apology was fake. You apologised wanting forgiveness. That was it. It wasn't a genuine feather heart. You didn't get what you wanted, so now you're like, it's your fault. A disgraceful member of this community. Fuzz and Rabbit City thanks for the, the, the resubs. Get Ted Rogers cancelled. Do you have any idea when the podcast with Richard Herring? Oh, I don't. I don't know. No, I don't know. Hughes thanks for two hundred forty-five bits. Charlie Lobster thinks the Fiverr. Have you ever considered playing Dark Souls? We'll have a wee think about it. We'll have a wee think about it. Own your behaviour, Hell Whiskers, as they say in Rony. Your house is in New York. One or the other, doesn't matter. You want number two. Again, a very good luck to you. Four, fifty pounds for each correct answer. Now, the reason why I'm watching this wee bit again is because I didn't hear any rules saying if you get it wrong, that's you. Did you? I didn't hear it. I'll preach your... He said the ages ago, when? 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 When did they say it? Okay, here's Linda with the free choice for... He said it with the first couple, but this is the first fucking couple and this... Yeah, this 60 in this the lead at the moment, look, John and Philomena, look. 70 pounds they have. Okay, here's Linda with the free choice for you, Anna, this time. This. Or is it going to be Jim? One or the... The first couple. The very beginning. I bet that was ages ago. I'll tell you something. See if he, with this next couple, reminds them. Is, that if I, is the wrong answer on the... Oh, that's fucking shite. Yeah, the other for each correct answer. Now, the question... One sh... It was 50 yeah. pounds. Let's welcome back couple number two. Here we go. Flats. Okay, Johnny, we're going to be back with the second questions. round. What one are you going for? You yeah. want number no, three? Okay, for and it's for £70 for each correct answer for you this time. Good luck. Question is about people who have become famous in one... ...particular area of activity. We give you a name and we want you to say in which activity they are particularly well known. Now, Tom Stoppard is particularly well known as a playwright. Right, so he's not... We'll start you with that one. Tom Stoppard and... Playwright. Robert Redford. Actor. Jasper Carrot. Comedian. Comedian. Wayne Sleep. Dancer. Delia Smith. Cook. David Bailey. Artist. Photographer. Oh. Sandra Rhodes. Just the same. John Le Carre. Writer. Pass. Kirk Kiri Tikanawa. Singer. Pass. And David Bellamy. Yeah. Naturalist. Naturalist. Uh, we take that botanist, naturalist, neurologist. Eh, uh, we'll take. No, you won't fucking take it. You want to just take it. You're, no, you're giving it. 
You want to take it because that's what you fucking is. Wait a minute, as a naturalist, know somebody who walks about in a scud. Enough. Curity Kanawa, of course, is that wonderful. That's a neat, natural, yes. natural. John le Carre was the writer. That's about it. Particularly well known of activity. The correct answer. The question is about people who. Right. Merle David. Oh, so at the end of Imagine. Actually, have got four pounds. They have been fucking out of smiling. He's actually smiling. He's just glad to be out here. Fifty fucking quid. Sorry that we've got to say goodbye to you right now. It was so easy to, you know, to go on that one. It was a tricky question, not really, but it was right there to make you sort of guess like that. The other couple had to oh. think about it. Oh, it was right there to make you guess like that. So they were set up. They were fucking set up to fail. Astronomer, astrology, however, 50 pounds. Make you sort of guess like that. The other couple had to think about it. Astronomer, astrology, however, 50 pounds is not too bad, is it? There it is. And one thing we can tell you is that Dusty Bin is worth a bit more than that these days. Days, you know what I mean? I'm sure you wanted one of those, so that little bear, no? Yes. Thank you, thank you, Anna. Oh, Bern, look, he's using one of your words. Bern. That these days, you know what I mean? I'm sure you wanted one of those, so that little bear, no? Yes. Thank you, thank you, Anna. Look at that, eh? And you too. So respect, hear that? He said Bern. That's like Wayne, that's that kind of that Scottish word. So respectful. That was really, that was really decent of you, Ted. Bern, love, by the way, love Glasgow. Where are they for again? Is this the Paisley lot? Is this the Paisley couple? Paisley? Aye, that's aye. That's right, everybody. 50 quid in today's money is run about... In about seven, eight grand. Uh, AJ Frost thinks of 200 bits. Have you ever considered doing a weekly podcast where you just ramble? Might be a good laugh. Now, why would I want to go and do something so stupid like that? AJ Frost. Why would I want to do something like that? Exactly, Glam Ringo's. This is the fucking podcast. How's about... Here's an idea. Here's an idea. How's about... I do a podcast... But instead of it being audio, it's audio and video, and it's we 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 try and do a live version, a live version, and we can incorporate games, uh, stuff for YouTube, um, all that into so that I can do it like full time. You just couldn't you know maybe chuck as a sub here and there, a bit so a donation or something to to you know. Keep me doing this full time. Really, really appreciate that. And you know, because you can't really do that with podcasts. It's kind of hard. You have to get sponsors just to keep all the sponsors out. You know, it would make me connected, uh, connected directly with you, the entertainment customer. How's about a day of that? What would you think of that? Would you think of that? And it's and, and it's like live, so I can actually like read what you are saying as it happens. And I can just, there's hardly any technical fucking uh, set up and post fucking stuff today, editing stuff and make sure everything's the right way. It's just fucking go live. Should definitely put the improv stories in the podcast. That's fucking deed, man. It's deed. Muggins, supersonic. Thanks for the subs. Hey, Jim. Thanks a lot. He's delighted. He doesn't give a fuck about the money. He's just like, thank fuck, man. I'm out of the panic zone. Enjoy the rest of the show, and we'll see you after the break. Oh, 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 oh. Enjoy the rest of the show, and we'll see you after the break. Three, two, one. Money go. Do you know? I think he did that one. I, th I could be wrong, but I think he managed that there. Enjoy the rest of the show, and we'll see you after the break. Let's say we gave him it, right? How many? Like, let, 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 let's, let's judge it by this, right? Let's, let's try and get a, a judging kind of standard. Now, you can see my, there's my pinky, right? Right, now you can't see the thumb, there's a the pinky. Now, if I, if I said, how many do you want? How many do you want? Three. Right, there's my pinky then. Three. Right, you can still see it. But imagine about that, three. Would you say 
<laughs> you said three, but you were holding up four fingers. I think you would let me away with it. I think you would let me away with it there. But, you know, you really should be doing that. Let's see what we gave, we gave him at. Right, so three. Two, that's two. That's two. That's two. I'm going to give him that. Bang. Do you know, it isn't perfect, but I'm, I think that's as close as he has come to actually doing 3 two, one I think that's the, I think it's the best yet. It's still not perfect. Three. There's this pinky. It's, it's like three and a half. Two. It's kind of almost like that, you know, when you see Jesus in a fucking stained glass window. You know, he does that thing, whatever the fuck that is. Daft Benny thinks of 10 3 sub. Lord Arse thinks of 2 and a bits. Spectrum Condor 64. My brother had a Spectrum, had the Condor 64, Vic 20, plus 4. Johan Blue thinks of 2 and a bits. Grotesquely Ugly Freak thinks of 2 quid, mate. Should start live streaming, could get quite big. Thank you very much. Um, who was that again? Who was that again? Lorraine? Pauline, Pauline, that's right. Do you know how he's able to pull that off when he normally can't? I think it's because he's feeling super confident, super confident right now, and he's feeling super confident in the presence of that guy. He has just demolished that couple. Talk, he, he spoke over them, talked to them, he managed to get what looked like an impact improvised joke out of them although no one around applause and he managed to get them set up with an, an astronomer astrologer joke I mean a question imagine putting that as a first question in a quiz where if you get it wrong that's it it's over 50 quid there if you get five questions right 250 quid on top of your original 50 300 quid 300 quid back then, that is really a bit like fucking two grand or something. To put that kind of... What, what's the job of Patrick Moore, who's an astronomer? How many people would accidentally say astrologer? Quite a lot. To put that as the first fucking question, knowing that's going to fuck everything up and out the goal, is fucking out of order. He knows it. He said it. He said that's why we put it there, you know, so you're kind of like guessing a wee bit. And he said that the other couple, they had to think about it. They didn't have to think about that. That's a different fucking question. We bad drop thanks to 713 sub so RIP Kobe. Bobby. Enjoy the rest of the show, and we'll see you after the break. 3, 2, 1. Money. And our theme is Scotland, and we've got Ashley and Morag, who are from Falkirk, playing against... It's not John Falkirk, it's Falkirk. Our theme is Scotland, and we've got Ashley and Morag, who are from Falkirk, playing against John and Philomena, who are from Glasgow, but Philomena originally from Dublin, that lovely city. Now, folks, you know what happened? There you go. Philomena. Philomena. Philomena gets a shout-out. Not just going like that. Well... But you're, you're fake Lesga, right? We're, we're keeping it today with Scotland. Just, just put up with it, Philomena. Right, I know you're for Ireland, but he's for Glasgow. You's living Glasgow. Put up with it. No, he's gone like that. Philomena, here, who herself is for Ireland, for Dublin. Lovely city. Lovely city. So he has a wee, he has a wee bit of... He has a wee bit of a poke, a wee bit of a dig, a wee bit of one of the wee jokes. But he just lets you know, by the way. Look, 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 she's happy, look, look. What a decent thing to say, look. At the end of Glasgow, but Philomena originally from Dublin, that lovely city. Now, folks, there you, you know go. what happened? Look at that, look, look, look. Completely at ease. Lovely city. I'm all right, me. If I had anything against you, I wouldn't have said it was a lovely set, I would have. Larry thinks the 12 and 3 sub a whole year. Gil thinks a thousand bits, thank you very much. 
was here. At the end of what, each one of our items we're about yeah. to show you, yeah. uh, one yeah. of our guests is going to come here to the table, read you a rhyme and leave a clue on Oh, so see, four years before this, 1981, you had the video games, which is a wee game of breakout. Stephen Duffy, thanks for two quid. Shout out for the boys in Coolock, Dublin. Big shout out, I hope. That's nothing that's going to get me in trouble. When there are three on the table, and we'll go a wonderful singer, and a... Here, 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 You know what happens here, at the end of what, each one of our items we're about to show you, uh, one of our guests is going to... Previously, previously, it was only one couple. They whittled it down to one couple. This is new. Two. Come here to the table, read you a rhyme and leave a clue object. When there are three on the table, you're both going to have to choose one to reject if you're the lucky ones to get through the elimination question to where right. those fabulous prizes are and Dusty Bin is waiting for everybody. OK, good luck to you and we'll go on and have item number one of Scotland and to start off our St Andrew's Night festivities, we have... Oh, the, the, the respect that he's got for the Scottish culture there as we kick off our St Andrew's Night festivities, there's such a seriousness and respect in the way that he said that. Festivities. It almost sounds like a kind of, like a kind of pagan, uh, kind of pagan celebration, sort of festivities. Will you be joining us in the festivities? And we'll go on. It's not just. It's just. It's not just like oh, uh, we're getting. We're getting. It's a reason to get fucking pissed or something like this. And have item number one of Scotland. And to start off our St Andrew's night festivities, we have festivities. You know, it's really. It's really festivities. It's really quiet. As we start tonight, at St Andrew's festivities. Please make your way into the main auditorium, where we will begin tonight's festivities here in, uh, under this beautiful image of Christ. A one on and have hype signal thanks to twelve one three sub a terrible year glad to hear me. Number one of Scotland and to start off our St Andrew's night festivities we have a wonderful singer and a wonderful song. The song is a land for all seasons. The singer Peter Morrison. <laughs> He's they actually wear a skirt. They actually wear a fucking skirt. It's true. For me, from the time till the full of the year. Uh, can I just say, I don't know if you've ever worn a kilt, but uh, feels good. Feels good. There's, um, I don't know if you know, but see the tartan? Um, I wore it at, at some wedding. Um, the tartan, it's, the, the kilt is quite a thick material, so it's not like this kind of flyaway material you feel like it's all going to blow up like fucking, uh, what do you call it? Marilyn Monroe or something. Um, feels good. You stick one on for the first time and you're like, this feels like I've always worn one. This. And did you know that you're allowed to carry a knife in that? Was it? Is that the skiing do? Was a knife? You're not allowed to carry a certain length of knife about you in Scotland. There's a law here. Was it just Glasgow? Above a certain longer than like I don't know three inches or is it two inches? You'll get done. You'll get under three inch. Aye, and I think the skiing do. I think is longer and you're allowed to do it so if you did want to go out with a knife I don't know if they would be alright the police would be like that well the boys wearing a kilt Stresser thanks for the 313 sub Fraser thanks for the sub I don't know if never I don't know who he is I should pretend that I don't know who he is. This guy here, um, he's really, really big, big back then. He was big new. With green and green. Um, 
he's he's like don't make a joke about him by the way he's like really really I, I can joke about anybody I can joke about anybody but please please don't make uh, jokes about this guy this guy's like see see to, what you have to understand about Scottish culture is this guy here is like it's like you're basically saying something about my dad but the thing is see if somebody does say something about your dad you normally, you normally don't give a fuck because your dad's a prick but this guy's like the dad that you didn't have no, I don't know who the fuck he is seems like a Tory Bet he speaks off posh. You're miming anyway, by the way. You're miming anyway. What's the mic? What's the mic? Go oh, high. You know how he did for me. You know how he did for me. I bet you any money he doesn't fucking speak like that. For me, for me, for me. I don't even say that. For me, for me. Check that he's dead first. You can't lie about the dead, otherwise you might have lawyers on the phone. The boys look at that. Just said he looks like a Tory. Just said he looks like a Tory. Don't fucking, no, 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 don't fucking applaud miming. If he's not going to sing, fucking mime clapping, mime applauding. Everybody pretend to clap, but there's silence. You pretended to sing, but nothing actually came out of your mouth, okay? Two can play that game. Listen. Let's climb. So this is all you hear. Even in a room full of like a thousand people, this is what you hear maximum. Right, I don't know what you're saying. Right. Right. Here we go. Here we go. What do you think then? What do you think? Real true Scott or posh? You're such a tall guy as well. What are you, 6'3 or something? Six hey, no, not quite. I'm just a wee bit taller than oh, you. Good oh, to have you with no, us. Right. Wonderful voice. What are you leaving them here as well? Well, I've got a piece of sheet music. Okay. And, and then right. I've got something to read out here. If you oh, really do. Right, okay. This isn't exactly a Highland fling. Gang of war may be in anything. There you are. Does that mean anything to you? Not to me, but to these people, I sincerely hope so. Ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't mean anything to me. I'm fucking. I'm the one I use. This isn't exactly a Highland fling. Gang away, maybe, in anything. What does that mean? Gang away. What's that? What'd that be? Gang, gang, gang away. Gang. What's the what's the gang? But I mean, gang. Go on, go away. Go away. Gang away, maybe anything. Maybe in anything. Is that the bin? Is that dusty? There you are. Does that mean anything to you? Not to me, but to these people, I sincerely hope so. Ladies and gentlemen, Peter Morris. You might, you might put something in the bin. Take care. You find something in the bin, don't you? Morag looking a little puzzled, as everybody is indeed, particularly after the first one. No idea, Philomena, yet? No, I don't think so. We'll go on, we'll have item number two. Now, here are three young men who... What the fuck is that, by the way? What? What's... Is that a... Is that a... What, is that a handkerchief? Shiny, plastic. Truly are into... No. It's pure reflective. We'll go on, we'll have item number two. Now, here are three... Pure reflective fucking... ...young men who truly are international, but firstly, Scots. So far, their score is... Thank you very much, Ted. That's right, international. Outward-looking, yes. Yes. Outward-looking. 
not parochial, but firstly, Scots. How come they can be proud to be Scottish? They've got the flags in the windows, but we put one up and everyone says we're racist. Hell Whiskers, 2020. 14 albums and five television series. You'll want more of both when you listen to The McCowmans. When I die, baby, below. Never heard them. Never heard them. Never heard them. Never heard them. Again, like Peter, you're expecting. So, what, did he not do the fucking sketches anymore? Are they not doing any sketches? Any funny sketches? Gills thinks a thousand bits, you need to put more music on your Spotify. I know I'm going to, I'm going to keep meaning to put stuff and I go, I actually can't kind of think it. I only know about fucking 50 songs. There's Nick. Nick. There's a funny one later on. Oh. Now listen, again, like Peter, you're extremely busy. Off on a tour or you're just back yes, from just back from a tour of Europe. Of Europe? Finishing up in Germany. Uh-huh. Well, Germany. Germany. Oh, we got we're posh. Off on the tour, or you just back yes, from what? just back from a tour of Europe. Of Europe. Finishing up in Germany. Uh huh. And we've got some time now. I'm probably going to do a new live album. Good for you, Nick. What are you leaving them here as well? A clue? We've got as a clue a lump of granite. <sighs> and how about right. the rhyme? A written that? clue. Granite. The granite say. What's the granite say? Is that Aberdeen? The rolling English roads a clue. A crystal ball might help here too. The rolling English roads a clue. A crystal boy ball might help you too. Is that Dusty Bin? Ah, uh, but will it? That we will see. And thank you, Nick Fucking Kerr speak. of the McCalmans. Fucking speak. Ah, uh, but will it? That we will see. And thank you, Nick Kerr of the McCalmans. Good luck. Bye -bye. Hi, Dobber. Thank you for coming to me, sir. Are you going to say something? Yeah. yeah? Clue in there somewhere, was there? Did you grab it or not? No, mm, not yet. <laughs> How about you, Ashley? Well, we think the first one possibly is either Dusty Bin or a holiday. They're all rather like Dusty Bin, that's why they're just a little bit devious, okay? And a Dusty Bin. Mm. But, th well done in speaking. Well done in speaking. Not <laughs> yet. How about you, Ashley? Well, we think the first one possibly is either Dusty Bin or a holiday. They're all rather like Dusty Bin, that's why they're just a little bit devious, okay? We don't you give me your fucking patronising OK. Well, they're all a wee bit like Dusty Bin. I, mean, I don't know if you've seen the programme before, but they're all a wee bit could possibly be Dusty Bin, otherwise there would be no kind of peril, if you know what I mean. There'd be no kind of risk. OK. OK. OK there, pal. Would you follow? When follow. the next one's on the table, then, of course, you have to start really thinking. OK, so pay particular attention right. to all these rhymes. OK, I... On the table, then of course you have to start really thinking. Okay, so pay particular attention to see him on the left. I just, even though he says he fits alarms, I just picture him as some fucking wank that you get these days. Some fucking arty wank. Nothing wrong with being arty, by the way, but you know what I mean. I just picture him being a right fucking, like a right fucking smug prick. Fucking snooty fucking dick. A fucking fake. A phony. All these rhymes. Okay, item number three of our theme Scotland. Of course, Scotland being famous for its bonnie lasses, we have one of the bonniest and most talented. With Loch Lomond, Morag Mac. Scotland is famous for its bonnie lasses. Kai. This last 15 minutes, I thought it would have been an hour when you put in adverts. Oh, here we go. Really lovely. It's 
saying earlier on, I mean, all you Scots folk are so busy. You too have just come back for a, from a tour as well. That's you? right. I've just come back from Germany as well. Good to have you with us, Maureen. What are you going to leave me as a clue? Well, I've brought a uh, street name. Street name. Oh, okay. A street name. Hill that's street. right. About the rhyme. Right. Yeah, that's right. So the rhyme is the rhyme ignition and a near side door initially near side door. Um, this is Malcolm Malcolm. Right, so the rhyme is... So right, okay, right. Right, so the rhyme is... Uh, break. Bits of Scottish here, but then saying right. Good name. Oh, you're going to leave me Thank the you. clue. Well, that, that's you? right, I've just... That's right, that's right. Yes, yes. Scottish enough, but not too Scottish, right? Come back from Germany as well. Good to have you with us, Maureen. What are you going to leave me as a clue? Well, I brought uh, a street name. Street name? Oh. Street name. So let's just say the name and no name. I'm going to leave me as a clue. Well, I brought uh, a street name. Street. street name. Street name. Oh, okay. A street name, Hill Street. And what about the rhyme? Right, so the right. rhyme is. The rhyme. The rhyme is. Break, ignition, and. Break, at least you said break, not break. Near street name, Hill Street. And what about... Just to be clear, by the way, I'm not trying to eliminate every non-Scottish accent from the fucking world. Let us see a thing. Right, all right, all right. Carvel thinks the three quid, mate. About the rhyme. Right, so the rhyme is... Break, ignition, and a near side mm -hmm. door. Initially, I'd help much more. That is the third one. Right. Initially, I'd help... Break ignition a near side door. Initially, I'd help much more. B I N B I N everybody initially. B I N initially initially. B I N. Much more. Right, and that is Go. the third one. Go. Now we have to make up our mind. Thank you very much. Now, what I want in was. What I want to know is, there's two couples here. There's two couples here, not just one. So, would you want to come out at this point? I don't know how the game works now. Would you want to come out at this point and say, aye, that's a dusty bin, so let's get rid of dusty bin now. Would you actually want to go, ah, don't say it, so they get fucking dusty bin, so that if we don't get through that round, at least they fucking go away with fuck all and all, man. Need more egg, take care. More egg, Mackay, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye. Get your fucking horns off her. Mackay, ladies and gentlemen. Look, she's like that, is it? She's like that, I know, as if... Oh, managed to get a kiss off of the one and only Ted Rogers. Well, I have to make up her mind. Thank you very much indeed. Morag, take care. Morag, Mackay, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye, Morag. Ted, kiss off of Ted, man. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, Morag, Mackay, oh, oh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh. Bye-bye, Morag. And look, look at him, look. What, did he, what does he do, look? Oh, oh. Whoa, oh. He did the, he did the eyebrow thing there. After that, what is going on with they two? Hold on a wee second here, this... Wait a minute. More Agmakai is the third one. Now we have to make up our mind. Thank you very much. Right, wait a fucking minute here. Much indeed. More Ag, take care. Right, 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 right. Then that. Right. Right. Then look at the audience like, yes, and then watch, 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 watch. Ooh. See you later, maybe, Ted. Maybe catch up with you later. If Ted's fucking wife was watching, she'd be like, what? What was that? What? What? I'm fucking cheats, I'm being fucking polite, I'm giving her a kiss to be fucking polite. Remember this is 1985. I saw the way she looked, I can't fucking control how she fucking looks at me. I can't control how she looks at me. I will watch this. And they'll have a, they'll have a fucking video player. They'll have a video recorder that he probably got as a freebie for the show. Look, right, 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 watch his face look. Look at that eyebrow. Look at the eyebrows. Can you see it? Look. Oof. Look at that look. Oof. And again. That's a double. And, and then a wee nod like. 
Take care. Morag Mackay, ladies and gentlemen. Bye bye, Morag. Oh, oh. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay. <clears throat> don't know if any of you's, uh... Don't know if any of you's seen that. <clears throat> My wife's gonna kill me. <clears throat> <laughs> well, you now this fucking laugh. What are you laughing at, Ted? Ted, what are you laughing at? Ted, what are you laughing at? Well, you've just heard that, of course, from Morag. Now there are three on the table. I can read the other two again. All right, listen Ted. to them. Ted, Ted, I bet, I bet if I look in Wikipedia right now, and I look down Ted, married, M, you know, for the wee marriage bit, M, eh, somebody, somebody, Jane, Jane McJane, 19 fucking 68, to 19 fucking 85, and then Morag, what's her name, 1986, two, like, Fucking D for death. And carefully, this of course was item number one, sheep music brought in by Peter Morrison, who said, this isn't exactly a Highland flick. Yeah, government. Okay. Government. Now the, the granite, he said, the... Government. Will it help? We're about to find out. Right, so what? Okay, there are three on the table. Right, so you're going to have to find which one you're going to get rid of. Right, who, who? Get the question. What's John thinking about? The granite. Granite, is that it's okay? too obvious, yes. Fine, that's okay. <laughs> what do you think, Asti? I, th I think we'll reject the... Uh, Hill Street sign. Okay, you're street getting rid of the road. granite, you're getting rid of the street sign. Right. Fine, is the elimination question here. Put your hands beside that button, okay? Right, Not right, over right, it, right, 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 right. So this is new. I'm going to get rid of the, the, the granite because it's too obvious. Meaning like he wants to get rid of it because he thinks that's like dusty bin. How? What the fuck has granite got to do with? It. We're going to start to read this question. When you think you know the answer, you hit the button and answer. Please don't answer before you hit the button. I have to offer it to the other couple of them. Please don't answer. All right. Good luck to you. Here we are. This is a Scott singer. His hit records include You Wear It Well. Okay, Bang. So actually. Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart, absolutely right. Bang. You went into it. Good. Stop right now. Tab it. Yes. Born Highgate, London. He is of Scottish and English ancestry. Right. Right. He was born youngest of five. Uh, right. His father was Scottish and had been a master builder in Leith. She was English. Uh, the couple had two sons in 2011 in Scotland and moved to Highgate. Right. Well, it's up to him, isn't it? All right. The fact is, the fact is, uh, Rod had the tartan and all that. And did 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 uh, Rod Stewart? Has Rod Stewart himself ever said, "I am Scottish"? Has Rod Stewart himself? Ever said I'm Scottish? Or has he done the kind of I wear all the tartan and all that because you see my dad's Scottish because you see my dad's Scottish? Or does he himself say I'm Scottish? Tartan Daft Rod Stewart doesn't consider doesn't consider what's this what's this daily record? Thanks, Glenn. Oh, Tartan Daft Rod Stewart doesn't consider himself Scottish, saying links are just spiritual. The rocker, who celebrates his 70th birthday on Saturday, says he's always surprised when people presume he's Scottish. There you go. 
He said, it does surprise me when people say to me, I thought you were Scottish. I have never ever said I was Scottish. There it is. All I am is very proud of my father who was Scottish and the wee bit of Scottish blood I have in me is a spiritual thing for me. A wee bit? Well, hold on a wee second. But I thought your dad's Scottish, so we're talking about blood if you want to actually say there is such a thing as Scottish fucking blood. It's, it's 50%. So you're actually kind of downplaying your fucking Scottishness event. You're actually rejecting it. He's ash- I actually seems ashamed of it. But he's... Hey, Whiskers, thanks for gifting that sub to Scottish and Nasty. That's just like you to do that. Nemesis, thanks for the 4-man-3 sub. See the more, Xander, thanks for 400 bits. Rusketeer, thanks. You wear that wig well, you baldy. Unt, thanks for the 4-man-3 sub, mate. Okay, says so he's not, so he's not Scot- he's not Scottish. So he's not Scottish. Rod Stewart. Rod Stewart, absolutely right. Ba- no, no. Bang, you went into it. Good. So what does this mean, man? If I was them, right now, and I missed out on a prize because of that, I'd be raging. I'd be watching this every fucking day, every night while whisking my own. Rod Stewart. Of course, that, that was one of his earlier hits. I'm amazed you remember that. However, that's the way it goes. You're through to the big prizes and Dusty Bin. Of course, we have to say goodbye to Philomena and John. Here's Linda Lee. Of so course, they've rejected the right one. How much was it? 560. 560. Well done. 560 quid, everybody. 560 quid. Uh, in today's money, I can't remember the site. 560 in 1985. 560 in 1985. I should bookmark this. 1700 quid, no bad. 1700 quid, no bad. Not bad. Thank you. Lovely. And the ceramic dusty bin. Ceramic dusty bin. And Philomena, John, just take a look across. There, Caroline has for you a set of matching luggage as a consolation prize. Look at that. That's nice. nice. If, uh, by the way, does anybody know the what, what, what your dad joke would be at that point? Look at that. Isn't that nice? What would the dad joke be right there? Wonderful. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Wonderful. Good. Pretty no. Good, John. Thank you for being with us. Do I get the luggage? Well, it's done with... Does she come with? Tell me. Elon thanks to 3 man 3 sub. James Third Eye thanks to 10 man 3 sub, thanks. Pretty good, John. Thank you for being with us, Philomena. Okay. Mean- It'd be nice to see, instead of these three women, three guys, three pure good looking guys, in the kinda go up to Ted and Ted sort of flirts with him a wee bit and goes like, nice shot. Got to say, that's a really nice shot. Take care. Nice trousers. Thank you. Love to everybody in Glasgow. Give them a round of applause, folks. Mano, you go with that dusty bin. Oh, well. Yeah. There it is, everybody. Look. Up the top here. Up the top. Who remembers that? See it? Up the top, right? He said he was going to say Andy Stewart. However, yeah. one thing is for sure, when we come back after the break, we're going to find out exactly what this is that you've rejected. That was a wee thing that meant the adverts are coming up. I can't remember exactly who that was for. I don't know if it was an automatic thing or if it was to tell the advertising people who are going to switch on the adverts. Right, get ready, here it comes. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Mine, there you go. Find oh, out oh, oh, exactly oh. what this is that you've rejected. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Mine, there you go. Oh, Find out exactly go. what this is that you've rejected. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Mine, there you go. Find out exactly you go. what this is that you've rejected. We'll see. Rejected? Do you just think that was a 3 2 1, by the way? Mm. 
No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Two. One. That was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, but that is definitely a no. No. There's only so much we can kind of let my way with all. Marta, you go. No. We're no. going to find out exactly no. what this is that you've rejected. We'll see you in a couple of minutes. Marta, you go. We can't, we can't date any more. We can't, we can't just go, ah, oh, can that's, that's close enough. No, no, no. Slippery, slippery slope. Show and we have Ashley and Morag who are from Falker. Got this one. Falkirk, 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 no Falkirk, Falkirk, Falkirk. Hill Street, it says on there. And why did you arrive at that? You just don't know that. You want to, don't want to get rid of it now and you have to, huh? <laughs> Is this the initially one? The initially one? Well, I'm afraid it has to go because she did reject it and it was brought in from Morag Mackay, a street sign. She said, break. So they, they got rid of it and they don't even know. Ignition and a near side door. Initially, I'd help much more. Right. Okay. Right. Now, what what we have for you? Super fake things ignition and a near side door, all obviously connected with a car, or is that, as you suggested, just too obvious? Morag Mackay brought you the street sign. She also said initially, I'd help much more. Well, Morag initially, Morag Mackay is MM. Ravs, thank you very much for the 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 raid. We are three hundred raiders. The street. We're just about to see that they have rejected. Was it them known how or why the booby prize of Dusty Bin? The street sign, as you can see, was Hill Street West 1, which is Mayfair, connected with a car, MM all right, the Mini Mayfair. <laughs> bullshit, 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 oh. bullshit, 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 bullshit. Wait a fucking minute, what? This is a bullshit. Wait. Like Mackay is M. Bullshit. This is fucking rigged. This is rigged. Zap Brannigan, thanks for the five of me. Ravs, thanks for three and three sub. Six. This is fucking rigged. M. -M. Lee, I'd help much more. Morag Mackay brought you the street sign. She also said initially, I'd help much more. Well, Morag initially, Morag Mackay is M. -M. The street sign, as you can see, was Hill Street West 1, which is Mayfair, connected with a car, MM all right, the Mini Mayfair. That is, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, thanks, the three and a bits. I still think that the clues are interchangeable and they can mean whatever, so the contestants don't ever win the big stuff unless it's planned, yes. Which, M, the street sign is much more. In case you don't know, by the way, listen. Morag Mackay brought you the street sign. She also, as you suggest, brake ignition and much more. Okay, now what do we have? Right, here? right. Brake ignition and a near side door. Brake ignition and a near side door. All obviously connected with a car, or is that, as you suggested, just too obvious? Morag Mackay brought you the street sign. She also said initially, I'd help much more. Initially, I'd help much more initially, initially. See the words on that first bit, break ignition near side door. And if you forget about that near side door bit, the door. Break, B, and ignition, I, near side door, N, B, I, N, bin, it's dusty bin. And they didn't even mention it, they went, no, 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 no. No, no, what we meant by initially was how that brought the the clue. Morag Mackay, MM, Mini Metro, initially, her initials, you see. What about the street sign? I don't fucking know, I know. Well, Morag, initially, Morag Mackay is MM. The street sign, as you can see, was Hill Street West 1. Hill Street West 1? Huh? Which is Mayfair. Mayfair, Mayfair, so it's a mini... Connected with the car, MM all right, the Mini Mayfair. That is an absolute fucking fix. That is an absolute fix. He could have said, that is an absolute fucking fix. He could have said there, no, 
you probably thought, what if they fucking said that, by the way? What if they said, I, uh, initially, well, because it's brake, ignition, near side door, the initials for each of the words is B-I-N, so bin. Would they have just went like that? No. No, it's actually something else. It's actually, it's actually another initials. Uh, it's actually an other. So annoying. Mayfair is in W1, but it's just one street. Aye. Oh, what could be in there? Oh. Aye, out of that whole fucking postcode. One place, uh, Mayfair. Maybe it's that. This is a fix, by the way, and I'm no fucking joking. Oh, Panda and Ben, your bloody man, thanks for the subs. Jojo, thanks for the sub. Jake Newell, thanks for the 12 3 sub. Nottingham. Moving to Nottingham tomorrow in Northern Ireland, take you I'm taking you with me and you'll be my only mates. So please don't kill yourself to new mates for about three months. Alright, you're taking me to Nottingham from Northern Ireland. Right? Where do you want me to get you? Do you want me to get you in Northern Ireland and then we go across to Nottingham or do you want me to move down to Nottingham and get you there? That, that's like fucking, that's like a, one of these clues. But of course, you would have to move to Northern Ireland first to be taken to Nottingham. Forbesy, Scott, thanks for the subs. Twisted Epoch, thanks for the sub. That's a fucking fix. Does anybody here, does anybody here think... No, I don't think it is a fix. He hasn't referenced the fact that they fucking initial spelled it bin. He could have said, now you might have noticed, now you might have noticed, some somebody might have noticed that it spells it bin. But it's not that. It's this. Oh. Total coin. Oh dear, you can never trust them, you see, on this show at all. You fucking said it. You can never trust... You can never trust them. Who? Where? F who are you... Ted? Who are you talking about? What are you talking about? Trust who? Oh dear, you can never trust them, you see, on this show at all. A super, the star prize gone straight out the gun. <clears throat> what can you not trust? What can you not trust, Ted? I never trust them, you see, on this show at all. He's just admitting. He's just admitting. Uh, this is a con. This is a fucking con. A super, the star prize gone straight out the gun. Now you've got to start thinking about that, Dusty Bin. I'm afraid it has to go, Caroline. Take away the star prize, would you please? Oh. Well, now, actually, more. All right. You've still got a three to one shot now. There's three great prizes left. Plus, of course, Dusty Bin representing just a brand new dustbin. Okay, we'll have I. That's fucking bad. That is fucking bad, that. That is bad. Number four. Remember, you were like, why, 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 so what, what do you think then? Why did you pick that then? Why did you reject that? I don't really know. Then the producers must have been like, right, good thing, fuck, thing, fuck, right, right. Would they do the one was, oh, MM, fucking Mini Mayfair and all that. If they had said, well, because, obviously, B-I-N, brake, ignition, near side door, B-I-N, you said, initially, I'd help much more, help as a bin, you know, like, help, the clue, if you look at the initials, that will that will help you to see the initials, because if they pointed that out, and then, they were told, no, that's not actually the case, it's actually M-M, that audience would have went fucking mad, and all the fucking viewers would have been like, fuck right off. No St Andrew's Night festivities would be complete without Robbie Burns. And here with my love is like a red, red rose, the Brian Rogers connection without Robbie Burns. And 
Robbie Burns. Here with my love is what? No, it's an and. Ted, Ted, Ted. I appreciate you trying to do the cultural sort of thing, and it's really decent to you. You're not, you're not taking the piss, you know. You're not going like that. Robbie, as they, as they say, Robbie Burns. Andrew's night festivities would be complete without Robbie Burns, and here with my love okay. is like a red, red rose. See, but. Ted, is he in on it? He's not. He was trying. To, he was trying to fucking get a clue there. He was trying to get a fucking clue. By going like, you can never trust him. He was trying to get a clue. To us. You can never trust him. He was actually doing a weak fucking clue. He's he's playing a game within the game. He's playing fucking a game of three two one within the game. The Brian Rogers connection. Can you read between the lines? Can you hear what I'm saying and work out what I'm trying to say to you? The producers are fucking con men. Ryan thinks they're turning bits. Probably did. I definitely took the fucking diamonds. Josh asks, what are we watching? This. Thanks to 8-man-3 sub. We're watching this, man. Abby Springpaw, thanks for returning, mate. You ever toyed around with the idea of getting knighted? Uh, aye, aye. I'm toying. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Now, what's the clue for them this time? Duck down. <laughs> Duck down is what it is. Okay, what's the rhyme say? Two clues in the song. Two clues in the song. With the rest, you can't go wrong. So, there could be two fucking words in that song, right? Two words in that song that they will fucking say, no, 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 they two words. We meant these other two words. <laughs> Don't know, forget, we're not going to fucking listen to that whole song, there'll be some obscure fucking word somewhere. Well, you see that word and then if you reverse that fucking word and then you sort of look at it in a kind of mirror and then you bang your head against the fucking wall and then you go to sleep for a couple of hours and just as you're waking up and your eyes are a bit blurry, then what does it look like? It looks like the word bend, isn't it? With the rest, it can't go wrong. Much, eh? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Diane, Brian Rogers Connection. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> Bye, love. Well... What do you reckon? You can reject anyone you wish, but of course you can hear it's one of these two again. Just this is, it's now turned into, 1981, it looked like it had a fucking chance. It was cryptic. It was cryptic, but it looked like it had a fucking chance. Right? With this, this is, this is honestly like a con. This is like a fucking con. This is like, there you go, right, so, right, 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 move that there, move that, so, right, so there you go, there's a ball, there's a cop, right, right, okay, right, oh, right, 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 which one? Which one? Which one? Oh, you won, well done, well done, well done, you won, you won, well done, okay, you want to try again, do you want to double your money? Do you want to double your money? There you go, oh, look, everybody else, everybody else is sticking their money on that one, what do you think? Aye, that one or not, but, yeah, 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 mm. To refresh your memory. Hey, job as a pause. Which one would you like to hear out the sheet music or the granite? Which the one granite. would you granite? You'd please. like to hear it again? Okay, okay. right. Which one? Which one? Which one would you like to hear again? Which one would you like to reject? Which one of your children? Which one of your children would you like to save? Item number two: a lump of granite brought in from Nick Keir of the the McCalmans. He said, "You've got no chance. English roads are clear. You've got chance. A crystal ball might help here too. It certainly would. Oh, so there's three here." Three here on the table. One's got to be rejected. Any idea, Morag? No? Well, I just feel the first one about... Yes, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Go, say it. I just feel... Sorry, well, my husband and I were just chatting there while, while the dancers were going. No disrespect for them, uh, disrespect to them, but we, we were just chatting there. And I just feel with the, co the first question, that we... I'm not going to say con because I don't want to get into trouble here because I'm sure everybody means well and I don't want to presume anything I could be wrong about this but we were thinking actually about the initially just after it we were thinking initially when you read it out again we didn't really think about it at the time but break ignition near side door spells bin and we're wondering 
and I'm just going to come out and ask it and I know what your answer is going to be but I just want to see the look in your face when you lie if we pointed out that that spell's been would we have then backed you into a corner and like that that would be it you know and everybody would obviously see of course that's got to be dusty bin then and like you wouldn't be able to like just like bring out the fucking motor because it's that obvious that it was a bin do you do you is this a fix that's what she's going to say here no? well, I just feel like I just feel that's how you start a major major complaint that's the best way to start a major fucking complaint so Jed Master thinks this up I just think <clears throat> I just feel the best that we're getting the piss taken at us. Um, that's a good way of saying that you're not saying that this is what's actually happening. This is how you feel and you'd like to have a conversation about it. First one about the Highland Fling. Dusty flung the cable when he uh -huh. came in. I see. And mm -hmm. gang of all. You know, go, go away. away. <laughs> what are you going to do? Ashley, any ideas? Well, well I said I reject the street sign, so... Uh... So you're going to leave oh, this one to Morag? Leave this one to Morag. Oh, it's great when he puts it on your shoulders, Morag, isn't it, eh? I hope Gang Away doesn't mean a ship or something, a uh -huh. cruise or something like that. We'll reject the granite. Uh, well, you were going to give this one to Morag. Right. It's great. Yeah. Well, you were going to give this one to Morag. It's great. Suddenly it's your so choice. Now everyone can have a go. <laughs> She's going to agree. See, yeah, I see. That's, that's the thing. See the Scots. See the Scots, I had a banter on the Scots, you know, even when the Scots themselves are not coming out with the banter, they supply the situation for the banter to happen, do you know what I mean? The situation, the way we, the way the Scots speak to, speak to each other in a very direct way, and they don't mind you chipping in and going, I can see you two arguing, do you mind if I make a wee joke about it to the, to the audience here? Go ahead, listen. It's a tough life up there in Scotland and we're always trying to have a laugh about it. Everybody chips in, honestly, there's such a rich <laughs> wonder what you that's right. It's a patter rich nation and a patter rich there's a there's a rich vein of patter. There's a rich vein of patter going through the nations. And islands and nations of Scotland because remember Scotland does have many nations within it. Many nations. It's a collection of nations. It's like Germany, the Germanic nations. Scotland's actually the nation, the kingdom of Fife, etc. Uh, and oh. It's great. Reject the granite. Uh... Well, you were going to give That's this one to Mora. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Suddenly it's your them. choice. Now everyone can have a go. She's going to agree yeah. with you. And, and the audience. And the audience. OK, you're agreeing that the granite is going to go, all right? Yeah. The producers will be thinking, we need to get more. Hellbiscus thinks they're too quick. I just feel like I've been attacked so much tonight. Do I feel like you, you, you think that's been attacked? You think that's attacked? I'll fucking show you attacked. In terms of, like, discipline within the framework of the TOS. Brought in oh and the audience. Okay, you are... The producers of the show must be thinking, oh, we need to get more Scots on. I've not heard the audience and Ted have that laughter. With the other ones, there's there's just a a, a down to earth, uh, ruggedness, a down to earth realness with the Scots, due to the the poverty that we've inflicted upon them uh, down here in England. They've had to group together in a kind of persistent blit spirit. That's lasted for decades, especially here in the 80s with the Thatcher 
the Thatcher years. Bring that the granite is going to go, all right? Yeah. Okay. Brought in item number two from Nick Keir of the McCalmans. He said, the rolling English roads a clue, a crystal ball might help here too. So let's see. Well, if you think about it, crystal ball, 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 you put, you might put a ball in a bin. Right, you've rejected this, oh sorry, crystal ball. They've, reje they've rejected the fucking crystal ball. Crystal ball. Crystal ball. Crystal. Crystal's like kind of jewellery, isn't it? A million fucking quids worth of jewellery you've just rejected. Take it away. What we have for you this time. Now then. Okay, Nick brought you the lump Don't. of granite, which... No way. This is Dusty Bin. No way they have rejected Dusty Bin. What has this got to do with Dusty Bin? They've rejected it all. They've rejected jewellery or something. pretty hard stuff and said... Crystal, the glasses, the crystal. The rolling English roads a clue. Well, if you remember the old poem, it was the rolling English drunkard who made the rolling English road. Have you? Have you heard of that? The rolling English drunkard something something, the English... Hey, say thanks for the sub. A connection with a different type of hard stuff, perhaps. A crystal ball might help here too. Well, you might now make a connection between crystal and the hard stuff. If not, take a look at this little lot. Oh, God. Stuff isn't trip. really the description for this collection of malt whiskies, including one of a limited edition of 25-year-old Glen Livet, two bottles of vintage Port and Armagnac, and over. Is, it, is that the audience, or is that a sound effect? Is that like they try to make it sound like people are having a party? Five dozen bottles of wine from France and Germany, and to drink all this in style, this magnificent collection of thistle pattern Edinburgh oh. crystal glassware. Caroline. Edinburgh Crystal. There you go, not just any crystal. Edinburgh Crystal. See if you just slap the name of a fucking place at the front of something. If you ever went into a restaurant and it says this is a... I remember, um, I went down for, I think it was Richard Herring's uh, Leicester Square Theatre podcast. Um, I like when I was doing Daffy Stories, just before Daffy Stories, which was what, 2000... What was that? Was it 2015? I think it was that. And they arranged for me to go down and come back up. They paid for the, you know, the trip and all that. And was it that? I think it was that. They arranged for me to get the... Um, they paid for the... Uh, the sleeper train. The sleeper train. And I had the wee fucking, the wee cabin to myself. You know, it wasn't like me and this other. Uh, the Caledonian sleeper I Like, so you get it at like fucking midnight or something for London. And you just, you got a wee bed. You got a wee bed in a wee room all the way up to Glasgow. And you arrive at like fucking seven in the morning. Um, The sleeper train. And there's things where you can either like be in a carriage and you're just sitting in a seat. The seat the seat goes back. Um and it's quite spacious, right? Um and there's another one where it's a cabin but you're sharing it with like another person. A fucking stranger. There might even be one where there's like four bunks fucking people farting on, right? Imagine it. Um But what they paid for was me having that wee fucking room to myself. I think I did a vine at the time. Wee room to myself, wee bed. A wee bed and a wee windy. I could open the curtains and fucking look at. Open the curtains, look at, just like that, we, you know, just just sitting in bed, sitting up in bed, looking out as the train's got. Anyway, um, there was food, you ordered what you wanted at night for what the breakfast you have in the morning. And I said, oh, would you like a, was it a roll and something like a roll in Aber Aberdeenshire or Hebridean bacon? A roll in Hebridean bacon, something like that, or Aber Aberdeenshire bacon. 
I was like, oh, oh, must be, must be like, I've not, I've not heard of that. And I got it and I was like, oh, what's this? It was a roll, a wee bit of butter, a wee bit of bacon, and the bacon just tasted like fucking bacon. Just bacon. Bacon. That's what I'm talking about. I like storing away black pudding. Storing away black pudding, I think, is maybe meant to be a wee bit spicy. I don't know, maybe I'm talking shit. Probably it's just the same as everything. My point is, he said Edinburgh Crystal. And you're like, oh, Edinburgh Crystal. What's Edinburgh Crystal? You slap the name of some fucking town or city or region in the front or something. And all of a sudden you think you're getting something special. This is a uh, Paisley. Paisley Crystal here. This is Paisley Crystal. I Aberdeen Angus a crystal this is a uh, This is a uh, Belfast sink. Aye. This I've got a sink here that's made for Belfast porcelain. Oh Belfast porcelain. I didn't know they were known for uh, making porcelain. They are really good at it earlier. Very, very in demand. Therapeutic yogurt, thanks for six month resub. Looking at it, it's 10 to 1, everybody, but don't worry, we're not going to bed until this is done. Well, again, another super prize, and there's only one more, and then we're going to have to start really thinking harder. Our last item, then, of our St Andrew Knight's Fair. And now fair now, it's no festivities. We're having a fair. Are you enjoying this, mate? You up there? Are you enjoying this? You know what? Do you know what? I think after this, I think we should take a trip up to Scotland. They seem so nice. They don't seem too clever. I went a bit kind of Bristol there. Clever, clever, clever. They don't seem too clever, so I don't think, think that... I always think it's a bit threatening when I think about going up to Scotland. They'd be, they'd be a bit aggressive, threatening, but they're, they're actually not very intelligent, so I think you'd be able to kind of bamboozle them with a few words. I think you'd be able to say to them, you will do this now, and they'll just do it. You will do this. Here's everyone's favourite little Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Crankies! Fucking yes! No way, man! Oh, the cr fucking yes! Crankies! Yeah. And now, here's everyone's favourite little Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Crankies! He's, he's delighted, man. He's delighted because he knows we've got a fucking show. You're right, Chris, about. He knows we've got a fucking show gentlemen, coming up, man. the Crankies! <laughs> He comes on first, mate. He comes on first when Jimmy coming in. Thank you. Well, I'm really excited tonight because Jimmy's told me he's taking an interest in theatre and he'd like to get into a West End musical. And tonight he's going to do his audition piece for us. I can't wait to see what this is. I'm singing in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> yes, man. There's, there's, there's a Glasgow guy, look. There's a Glasgow guy. I bet he's got the fucking cringe right now. Scottish cringe. Look, 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 look. She loves it. She on the right with the specs. She loves it. She fucking loves it. She's delighted, man. No, this was fucking entertainment. Oh. Jimmy scooshing him. Oh, wait, there's a shower. There's a shower at the top. Look, there's a fucking shower at the top. Look, there's a fucking shower at the top. Can you see that? Crankies, man. Oh, you stupid boy, you're soaked, Ted, you're soaked. Ah, look at me, I'm 
I don't know if any of you Americans uh, or anybody else. Is anybody no familiar with the Crankies? The Crankies, uh, during the 80s, 70s, 80s, were fucking big time here in the UK. Scottish. It's, I don't know, I don't know what his name was meant to be in this, but that's Jimmy Cranky. Jimmy Cranky is actually, the, 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 the real name is, what are the real names again? Ian, I Ian, Jeanette, what's that second name, it's like a word. It's like an actual word. Rough, I rough, tough, tough is it? Tough. Oh, they're swingers. They did a wee program. I think they were talking about it. They got like they like to just sort of like shag about and all that. Hey, uh, that's that's a uh, Jimmy Cranky is Jeanette, and they're they're a married couple. If you want to see them do, they still do pantos, big, huge. Huge. UK telling we just some wee Scottish thing and only like, you uh, Jeanette Cranky. Jeanette Cranky is McDonough, a gay pride Glasgow. Oh. Yes, man. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. So there's... So I'm chatting with you both today for your latest panto venture today. Yeah, but... Jeanette and Ian Tough. And do you say, do you say Tough? Pleasure. So I'm chatting with you both today for your latest panto venture, which is obviously Dick Whittington at the Birmingham Hill at 55 and getting in the car. Right. Do days like today and being in panto... It's been more rewarding to do it, what we've done today, than usual press calls, because you usually just get a bank of photographers, they take... And they make, do you, I, I think they day kind of, like, sort of slightly grown up jokes now about, oh, you think you're weird or something like, he dresses me up as a schoolboy. You know, like, something, something like that. So, God, I can't stand her. Oh, you shut up, you horrible bastard. Talking. Ah, oh, you're a big drip anyway. Oh. <laughs> Get that off your What's head. wrong with me? I made it myself, it's my own. You made it himself. Caroline, could you take this for us? Sorry for that. Oh, here <laughs> comes Caroline. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> What a big woman. Hey! <laughs> Not a big woman. She's a big stoter. She, what does that mean? She's a bit of nyuch nyuch. What does that mean? She's nice. Well, just say she's nice, will you? Don't be so rude. What? Look at this state of you, my goodness. What's wrong me. with me? You come down here, your room is all. We're supposed to be doing something Scottish to, together. Are you we? Lie. You'll never be in a musical. Can you, I mean, can you dance? Of course I can. Can you tap dance? Yeah, but I keep falling in the sink. Oh. <laughs> You've got to be able to body pop and break dance. Oh, can yeah. you break dance? No, but I can break wind. <laughs> <laughs> now listen. This is St Andrew's night, right? Is it? Yeah. Yes. St Andrew's night. Yeah, yeah. So you and I are going to do something Scottish. Oh great! We'll have a fight. We'll have a, fi <laughs> no, we'll have a fight. A violent is people. That you know. I meant something to do with our heritage. Our heritage? You should know what that is. To what? see with the Highlands and the, and oh, the, the Glens Highlands. and... Oh, the Tuchter stuff. Uh, oh, yes. Well, oh, well. Yeah. I was at the Highland Games last year. Well, yeah, well. Oh, you should have seen me. I was tossing my caber. Jimmy, you couldn't toss a salad. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen more muscles than Action Man. Action Man? Right. Would you like to see my movable parts? <laughs> Don't be cheeky. When we were at the Highland Games, I was in the egg and spoon race, oh. and I was running along, and I kept dropping my egg. Well, it's not that difficult. As if you use a fried egg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who was at this uh, Highland Games of yours? Who was at the Highland Anybody Games? Anybody special? Oh, there was a great big grizzly bear. Oh, Hercules. I've oh, seen him and Hercules. he was in the cage with a trainer, uh -huh. and all of a sudden, the grizzly went... No, it was louder than that. He went, was it? <laughs> so the trainer took his belt from his trousers and he smashed the grizzly across the nose. And the bear stopped growling. And this woman in the audience shouted, A bear behind! 
Hey, and when he turned round, was there a bear behind him? No, his trousers were on his ankles. <laughs> Grotesquely ugly freak thinks he took good life footage of Niles and Hell Whiskers having a part of war. <laughs> Look at you, Dandy Man. You stay Niles there. I'll never explain that away. <laughs> anyway, it's good to see you folks again. You. You've been busy in the summer, of course, down in Paint. Yes, mm -hmm. lovely. And you're on at the same time tonight, you're folks again. You. You've been busy in the summer, of course, down in Paint. Yes, mm -hmm. lovely. Down in what? Pain painting? Lovely. And you're on at the same It's good to see you folks again. You. You've been busy in the summer, of course, down in Paint. Yes, mm -hmm. Down in what? Painting, right? Because I thought he maybe said Paisley. Maybe he's talking about the one night stands, and they they have said quite openly, you know, they're they're into like swinging and all that. Like, what is that USB fucking thing? Lovely. And you're on at the same time thought, tonight. You're on, of course, yeah. on the other side. But we shouldn't really mention that. But we will with the new series. Good. What are you going to leave these folks here for the? We clue? have got the Scottish flag. The Scottish flag. Okay. Um, here's your aim around, but not about. You could be down and out. Wait a minute. So, so you're, you're still coming up with mail. Aye. All right. Short. Very sweet, ladies and gentlemen. The crank is Ian. God bless. Bye, right. Down and out. Around but not about, you could be down and out. I could be easily be a fucking bin. Scottish flag. Get that Scottish flag in the bin. Short, very sweet. Ladies and gentlemen, the crankies. Ian, God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye, the crankies. Crankies. Yes, man. Whoa. Now. Right, oh, actually, the, the final. See if the flag of Scotland is in some way connected to the fucking booby prize dusty bin. That'll be a national fucking scandal. That'll open up a whole fucking. I'm going. I'll be, I'll be going to the, the police station tomorrow. Well, three here on the table, and we know that Dusty Bin to report an international war crime. Any idea about that one that's just come in? You can hear one of the other two again. Then you know what I'm talking about when I say I'm going to report an international war crime. Scottish resistance. International war crime. Where's that international war crime? Here it is. Hi, good morning. Here to report the crime. Yeah. This, this here. There's a group of guys called the Scottish Resistance, and they're in a um, Scottish Independence. But they're, they're like pure kind of hardcore, but... An international war crime. But they're not... They're not like... I don't think... Hi, good morning. Here to... Hi, good morning. Here to report the crime. Yeah. They're, they're not... I don't think they're like... Racist or anything like that. Good morning, here to report the crime. Yeah. They're just kinda a wee bit fucking um they're a wee bit kinda extreme. Like this. But in a jokey sort of way. When I say extreme, I mean they've they were saying outside we have here some like this is only last for fucking seven seconds because I don't know the original. I don't know where the original thing is. Um, it's something in the fucking that some ancient law for like 1700 and something that says any nation that tries to start a war with another nation or something like that that's an international war crime or something like that he wants to I don't know report David Cameron or something like that so he goes to the fucking police station with a fucking ancient document for like 400 years ago to say, uh, to say, I wish to report a crime, an international war crime in the police, as you can hear, is taken very, very seriously, if you listen. 
Dunnikin and Cardi and Tom Ellis, thanks for the subs. Melbourne, thank you very much for the sub. Hi, good morning. Here to report a crime. Yeah. An international war crime. Right. Right. Hi, good morning. Here to report a crime. Yeah. An international war crime. Right. Here to report a crime. Yeah, an international war crime. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. You want to come through the office? Be with you in just a wee minute. Now he thinks the two and a bit. Right, the prize is a trip to Australia down under three syllables. And if you'd like to refresh your memory, there's the duck down, of course, which came in from the Brian Rogers connection, or else the number one item came in from Peter Morrison. That was the sheet music. Remember what, what, what would you like to hear? Sheet sheet you want to hear that again? Now we're not rejecting it. We're just listening to it again. Just, All right. Just, just listen. Item number one. Peter listen. Morrison said, "This isn't exactly a Highland fling. Gang o' war may be in anything." Now you know what gang o' war means now. Mm -hmm. And we know that the bin is there somewhere. Oh, oh. It means now. He's he's having a think. Look him there. Look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's like that. Hmm. See? We know that the now you know what gang of war means now. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And we know that the bin is there somewhere. You have a free choice of which one you'll reject. I, I can't agree uh, what gang uh, gang of war. difficult decision. Gang means. But sheet music. Yes. Yes. You're going to get rid of that. Okay, yeah. Ashley. Okay, sir. Okay, Ted. Oh. Now that is, and we know it's okay with you, but and it's okay, okay with you. <laughs> it's not okay. Are you sure no, or not? No. Oh? Oh. I want to get rid of it. You want to get rid of it, and Ashley does too. Yeah. Yes, he said. Now, you all heard that. You've got that. That's okay. It's going to go, isn't it? Yes. Go right. On. Okay. Oh, the sheet please. music, item number one from Peter Morrison, who said, this isn't exactly a Highland fling. Gang of war may be in uh, any... Excuse me. Excuse me. Thing. Who said, this isn't exactly a Highland fling. Gang of war may be in... Number one from Peter Morrison, who said, this isn't exactly a Highland fling. Gang of war may be in any thing, is what he said. Now then, okay. Peter came in with the sheet music. His song, okay. of course, was a land for all seasons. Okay. He said, this isn't exactly a high... Bit loud. Bit loud. Bit loud. ...and fling. Perhaps we were going to fling you somewhere else then. Gang Awa may be in anything. Going away seems to be featured here, but to where? Somewhere not in the Highlands and a land for all seasons. This is, this is reject... They're rejecting this, am I right? How could they think that this is fucking dusty bin? Well, if you take the initials of that last line, gang awa may be in anything, it's a holiday to Gambia. Oh. Yes, it's the Gambia, the smallest yet one of the most beautiful countries in West Africa. Yes, it's the... It's a holiday to... Maybe. Awa may be in anything. Gang awa wa may, may be, be in anything. Right, I think... I, it would be hard to get out of that one. Gambia. Wait, 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 wait. In, in the highland, be in anything. Thing. Perhaps we were going to fling you for... Now then, okay. Gang Awa may be in any... I'm from Peter Morrison who said, this isn't exactly a highland fling. Gang Awa may be in any thing, is what he said. Now then, okay. Wait, you've just got to guess. You've just got to every now and again go through the fucking initials. Just in... Of everything. Gang Awa may be in everything. Hmm. Right, let's go through the first fucking letters of every word that's in this clue. Right, let's go through the second one. Let's go back to front. Okay. Peter came in with the sheet music. His song, of course, was a land for all seasons. He said, this isn't exactly a Highland fling. Perhaps right. we feature the initials of that last... It's a holiday to Gambia. Um. Ted is pressing the button underneath the desk, the kind of button you would get in a bank, like to tell the port to, to fucking bring the shutters down and tell the police you're getting robbed. He's got a button underneath the desk that brings the wee screen up. Look. Oh. look. Yes, it's there the Gambia. Go. It's a holiday to Gambia. Oh. Bang. Yes, up it's it the Gambia, the smallest yet one of the most beautiful countries in West Africa. Your hotel has the highest standards of comfort and luxury. And for your sunbathing, you can take your choice of the poolside or the beach. 
the local crafts give plenty of opportunity for souvenir hunters. And you may decide to take a trip into the less luxurious... You're just waiting to see that you can go hunting like a fucking elephant, aren't you? You're just waiting for it. You're just waiting for it. You know, get, a, get a wee shot at shooting a fucking... shooting a fucking uh, giraffe. But even more beautiful regions of the Abuko Nature Reserve to see a magnificent range of flora and fauna in their natural habitat. With a Kill a magnificent of range music, of flora and fauna. And costume, this holiday also offers a glimpse of real Africa. Press the button to make it go away. There we go. That's it. Yes. Oh, oh. Farendale thinks the 300 bits. So if you could just press... That was real Africa there. Yes. Press the button, Ted. Yes. Oh dear. More egg? I, I have a feeling you would have liked that holiday, wouldn't you? Definitely. Not bad at all, that. What a shame. No. Holiday? Motor? The booze? Now, we are at the moment I always dread, of course. Oh. Final two on the table. Of course, one of them is... A... What was the other one? Remember they showed you the fucking prize at the beginning? One was a holiday. Then it was... Why's the fucking the golf? The fucking golf clubs. So they're getting golf clubs. Oh fuck all. The bin, you know that. Of course, being the final two, I. R C W thanks for two quid. They're screwing these Scots just like they screwed our poor Billy Ballas when they chopped his boys off and made them. Eat. <laughs> That's not funny, by the way. William Wallace got his cock and fucking boys cut off. Right in front of him. He's got his pulled out right in front of him, including his cotton balls and burnt right before his very eyes. That's near laughing. Billy Ballas. Ballas eye. Oh well. Oh well. You can read them both again, so listen to them if you can here. Diane, of course, from the Brian Rogers Connection. Rather him than me. Brought you the duck down. She said, That's what I can two see. clues in the song. With the rest, you can't go wrong. Right, which one of these, everybody? Here, this is a fantastic night we're having. I'm having a wee sip here. I'm, I'm, I'm pure relaxing, maybe. That wee drink it all, sorry. Pure PlayStation fucking advert. Hmm. Now, where are we? Like that. Hmm. Now, let's see where are we now. Clues in the... Uh, Diane, of course, from the Brian Rogers Connection. Right. Brought you Can you use... Bucking Bam Ballas? Thanks for, thanks for gifting that sub bell. Hell whiskers. Can you read into this to 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 find golf clubs? You the duck down. She said to clue. Duck down. Duck down. Duck down. Come on. Four. Duck down. Duck down. Four. Come on. Clues in the song. With the rest, you can't go wrong. Wait, wait. Duck down. She said to clues in the song. With the rest, you can't go wrong. And Two clues in the song. What was that? What was that? Was that the Scottish guy song? Well, they're all Scottish, but ah, it's raining. Okay. With the rest, the rest. Oh no, no, no! You don't get a fucking rest in. I'm thinking of that fucking snooker. The one with the dancers. No, no, no! Can it be because the clues in this? Oh, the singing. What? And of course. Hey, listen to the rain, everybody. Let's find out. Let's find out the truth. This is so. If they rejected this, they've right. <gasps> the Scots flag brought oh, in item no. number five from the crankies. They said around, but not about. 
a round, a round of golf, a round of golf. You could be down and out. Down and out, down, down. A round of drinks, the drinks done. Oh, you're talking about that sketch. Flag is golf. St Andrews. I St Andrews, the fucking uh, the golf fair uh, place. So, now then, I don't think anybody wants to give you any advice here at all. Oh dear. Oh, they're all talking. So, Ashley, <clears throat> what are you I don't want to give advice because they're all fucking food down there and they fucking hate this fucking couple of fucking jocks stinking the place out. Anonymous, thanks for gifting a sub to Dusty Bin. So, this is a tough one. Aye. Duck. Duck we, down. We felt that that was... Possibly could be Dusty Bin. Fucking shut up! Forward and he ducks down. Mm -hmm. and he's, I love the way you're looking strong. at me and appealing. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could tell you what to do. But this decision is yours, of course. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, it's a hard one to make. They are the final two. You've done exceptionally well to get this far, but the choice is entirely up to you. What one's going? I'll tell you something right now, by the way. See when he said that thing about the Irish and the uh, uh, Scottish? I think... I think... You know that thing that made me hate him all the years back? And I've just recently found out that it's not what I thought. Um, that was I was like, well, no. I think they're scripted for him. I think they're scripted for him, and he has to say that. Right? I don't think that comes for him, if you know what I mean. I think he's just following what the writers are telling him to say. But see, everything else, like saying Dublin, fantastic city. Glasgow, love that city. I'm just thinking about what, what he's being like there. I'm just thinking about him. I'm just looking at him, what he's like as a person. I think, I think I was completely wrong about this guy. It could be a, could be a bed as well. Of course, everybody looking at home, they'll all know what to get rid of, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll reject the pillow, please. Then. You want to get rid of... Oh. Oh. Wait a minute, that's... What I like oh. is a guy who stands up and has a go. That's OK, isn't it, Ashley? Yes? Well, oh. that's... A fight? You know what? I, I like, I like a guy. I like a guy that stands up and has a fucking go. Now, come on now. Oh fucking come on then! I like that guy who stands up and have a fucking go. Oh fucking come on then! We are pretty fucking certain, everybody. Are we pretty fucking certain that the fucking St Andrews, St Andrews Day Scotland flag, St Andrews Cross, St Andrews is a golf fucking place, a golf fucking course? St Andrews? I saw bins that could change it, that duck down and that could be the fucking golf. Duck down, duck down, four and all that. Home of golf, St Andrews, birthplace, of, is it? Is it really? St Andrews, have you ever played like Tiger Woods? That's the one with the wee, the wee bridge. The wee tiny wee stone bridge that goes in that tiny wee stream. Um, I've actually been, I could show you a picture right now. I mean, St Andrews, would you like to see it? No, all right then. Hold on a second, have I? Wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Pictures. Give me a second. Old snaps. Do, 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 do. Where the fuck did they go? Where are they? Uh, no, no, no. Oh. oh wait Oh there you go There it is There it is There it is Here it, here it comes everybody Here it comes Oh I can't wait to show you Can't wait to show you everybody Here it comes Here it comes you're really gonna like you're not looking, some of you are deciding to boycott and no actually look. Here it is. There I'm everybody. Geezer be second. Geezer be second. Geezer second. There you go everybody. There I am. 
and St Andrews there you go St Andrews Golf there we go we've got this hotel room right next to it and they kind of I don't know, either upgraded or something, that's not what we wanted, not the, what we paid for, but they stuck us right to the window. It was magic, look at it. I'm not really into fucking golf anyway, but it was just... Green Mario, thanks for the sub. Robbie Springpaw, thanks for the fiver. Hey Dad, can we listen to this? I'm not going to be playing any anything else. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. I will only be listening to that, I'm very, very sorry. I'm very, very sorry, I won't be listening to any crap music. So, they're just ready to reject the pillar, right? Which, we're pretty fucking certain, is Dusty Bin. And the fucking audience, the horrible bastards, are like, no, no. What I like is a guy to get rid of at home. They'll all know what to get rid of, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll reject the pillar, please. You want to get rid of... <laughs> Wait a minute, that's... What I like is a guy who stands up and has a go. That's OK, isn't it, Ashley? Well, yes? Well, it's, it's a hard decision. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what do you think? If you were here on your own, you see, entirely up yeah, to you. Yeah. you. You made a decision? Well, we nearly rejected that one the last time. You did indeed? Yeah. Yes. We thought about it and we rejected the, the sheet music. I swear to God, see if I was them and I was just about to reject the, uh, the wee cushion thing, which is... But pretty sure's dusty bin, and that lot back there went, oh no, and then I changed my mind, and I rejected the flag thing, which is actually the shite, still a, a shite prize, but it is a prize. The gold fucking carry on. I would be like, you fucking, I, I would go up to him. I go, I, I want each of you to give me fucking every every penny you've got in your pockets right now. Empty your fucking wallets. Empty your fucking pussies. We're going to do some super prizes so far. Oh, eh? Number one was the great one. So what do you want to do? Want to go along with that? See this, I would. Hey, canny Scots, you see. Uh, having oh, a good, oh. good think about this. Well, it's St Andrew's night, you okay. know. Well, it's Scots, yes. you see. Canny Scots. Yeah, having a Hey, canny Scots, you see. Hey, go ahead. So, kind of canny, you know. What does that mean anyway? Just sort of like, kind of a bit shrewd and uh, like, oh, a wee bit... Having a good... A wee bit kind of... Having or showing shrewdness and good judgment, especially in money or business matters. No can as in cannot, no that one. Oh, can you know, like, wise, shrewd, with our money. Hmm, don't know about that, you know. Pfft, like a bargain, me. Oh, like a bargain. Oh, got to watch every penny here, you know. Mm. Got to watch every penny. Like, I don't know, I don't know. That's me, though. That is me, though. That's me. Ready to buy a bike. I'm like that. I'm like that for three fucking weeks. Solid. Like that. Hmm. Disco says, for fuck's sake, let this end. You're not even a fucking subscriber, I can't Just fucking leave. We could think about this. Well, it's St Andrew's night, you know. Well, if we win a bin, we need a new bin, so... You see, uh, it's now, isn't it? Give him a round of applause for... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Canny wait. Scots, you see. Uh, having a good... We could think about this. Well, it's St Andrew's night, you know. Well, if we win a bin, we need a new bin, so... You see, uh, it's now, isn't it? Give him a round of applause for that alone. Isn't that nice? Really, more? Fucking <laughs> pushing them into losing, man. Pushing them into losing. Well, if we need a... If we get the bin, dusty bin, we need a new bin anyway. Get them around the applause. That's really nice. That's what I love about the jocks. That's what I love about them. They they know the losers and they've got accustomed to it and they know how to accept it and graciously give us the victory. Well, Actually, thanks for the what I like is anybody owning up. So you want to get rid of the duck down? Yes? Yeah. Well, they're both nodding here. You're saying no, but that's okay, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Well done, folks. That said yes. All right? All right. Good luck. This is it. This Item is number it. four this is it. from Diane of the Brian Rogers Connection. She said, two clues in the song 
with the rest you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. So here we are. What a moment for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Diane, she brought you in the duck down. Now, yeah. should be, this be one to duck? Well, is it going to put you down? We'll see. Two clues in the song. The song was, my love is like a red, red rose. Right, right. Love and red, perhaps. Huh? Love huh? meaning nothing and huh? red for danger. No. With the rest, you can't go wrong. Now, that should have been the clincher for you. Right, really? Because if Why? you can't go wrong with the rest, this must be the one to get rid of. Dusty Ben, you've done it. What? Sorry, what? This song. Now, that should, perhaps, see two clues in the song. The song Fucking was, my love, be what? one to duck. Well, is it going to put you down? We'll see. Two clues in the song. The song was, my love is like a red, 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 red rose. rose. Love and red, perhaps? Love. Love and red, perhaps? Meaning nothing and red for danger. Love meaning nothing and red for danger? Oh, love means nothing in tennis, I see. Ah, right, right, right. With the rest, you can't go wrong. Now, that should have been the clincher for you. With the rest, you can't go wrong. Because if you can't go wrong with the rest, this must be the one to get rid of. Dusty Ben, you've done... If you can't go wrong with the rest, this must be the one. So, meaning... This one you can go wrong with, but see everything else. See everything else. All the other things you can't go wrong with them because they're the prizes. Is that that that's that could be it? That could be anything. That that that's I. That you can't go wrong with the rest. Well, the fact is they've no got they've no got the fucking they've reject they've, they've rejected Dusty Bin right. So it's good. good. But you can't go wrong with the rest. They could easily have made that the golf. Duck down, duck down, fucking ducking, duck, duck. When a golf ball is coming for you. Can't go wrong with the rest. But you don't put the fucking thing on the rest, put it on a tee. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I set it on fire, man. Set it on fire. <laughs> she said, she said it. <laughs> oh, well. Well, my, my little <laughs> Highland friend, have you put them through it here tonight? Dusty, around you go, off you go with... What a fucking night, by the way, man. What a fucking night, by the way. I'm not finished yet. And that fucking lot, that horrible lot back there. Or that mob were gasping for them to fucking keep Dusty, uh, keep the fucking uh, cushion and reject their own flag. That's what they really wanted. They wanted to, re we reject the flag. That's what that old lot wanted. Bye to you once again, Dusty Ben, folks. Off he goes. <laughs> I just want to hear them say the words, we reject the flag. Well, Moray, right. I, I know it's a problem. When, when you get to this point in the show, and we had this quite, quite a few times last season, it, it doesn't matter what happens as long as he's out the way, right? But you've done enormously well, and we do feel for you. You certainly did, didn't you? Yeah, because you wanted him to keep that, didn't you? <laughs> Well you certainly did, didn't you? As long as he's out the way, right? But you've done enormously well, and we do feel for you. You certainly did, didn't you? Yeah, because you wanted him to keep that, didn't you? <laughs> Thanks, Ted. OK. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> However, the wa last Thanks, one on Ted. the table, this is the prize you're going home with. Ted's on our side. No, their side. The boys not going to think they're two quid. Logical thinking. Hell, because thinks they're two quid. So it's not just policy, corrupt nature of the close through and surfs, may I tell you? Aye. Yeah. Scots and Drums thinks they're 14 on three subs. Thanks. Tonight brought in from the crank is a Scots flag around but not about. You could be Aye, down and out. This is it. This is it. Okay, so let's have a look. This is it now. Okay, the crank has brought you the Scots flag around but not about. Round the golf. Around perhaps should be a round rather than one word around. You could be down and out. Around, down and out are all terms which you might encounter in one game. And one game that has a particular connection with the flag which was brought in here. 
That, of course, is the flag of St Andrew. St Andrew's is the home of golf. Take a look at this. Is that the best? Oh. Yeah, that's over there. Everything you both need to start you off playing Scotland's own game. For each of you, a set of top quality golf clubs complete with bag, trolley and umbrella. A full range of golf wear and enough balls for, well, at least your first lesson. <laughs> but that's not the end of it there. Well, not a bad prize, I'm sure, Ashley, as you'll agree. What are you going to do? You're going to get us a fucking flight. You're going to get us a fucking flight for Falkirk to like 50 miles up the road to fucking St Andrews, eh? We've arranged some lessons for you, and to start you off, we're going to send you for a weekend to the Old Course Golf and Country Club Hotel at St Andrews, overlooking the Old Course and the Royal and Ancient Club itself. What about that? Oh, Super. Oh. Overlooking the... That looks fucking shit. It's like the fucking Ministry of Defence or something. Old course and the Royal and Ancient Club itself. What about that? Oh, Super. <laughs> Love it. You see, you're glad about that? Were you? She said, can I see that? Let's go Sorry. to the prize. Come on. Come on. Okay, more like that, sir. Oh, there you are. Soviet style. Oh, look at that, lot. There. Concrete. Is that super? <laughs> Smash it. Yeah. Well, folks. What knocks me out, Ashley and Moira got knocked out with this prize, with, of course, the kick at St Andrews. It's a Don't wonderful place. I only went there myself a couple of years ago, but it's all here. You're going to have a super time there. You play, Ashley, of course, don't you? Taken up about three years ago. And Moira so. said she was going yeah, to. Was now you up. have to. But yeah, we got to the point in the show definitely. where we always, we always forget this. Aye, definitely. Money you won in the quiz. Caroline, of course, has that. Aye, Caroline, definitely. what they win? Very nice. 480 480 pounds, pounds folks. <laughs> there you have it. I suppose. Right, mm -hmm. congratulations. Mm. I suppose so. Good luck. Super. Well out. Take me off a Ted Rogers, Mickey. Always, folks, super couple. You got us really tight there tonight, but you won through in the end. We're glad you did. We'd like to thank all our guests for being on the show. But Great most music. of all, thank you for tuning in. Till we see you next week. Good night, everybody. Have a good week. Bye-bye. <laughs>
I reinstalled Overwatch the day. I've had it uninstalled for like two months, I think. I played five tank. What do you call them? What do you call them? The uh, what do you call it? Placements. Five tank placements ended up at like eight thousand and something. Five uh, healer. No, 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 no. Almost five healer ones were just about to win, and Lynn said. For the 20th time. Are you going to get off that? You have been on that all day. And I had been on it for ages. And I just thought. This is impractical when you've got a fucking girlfriend and a son. To play a game that you're fucking stuck to. No once did I feel happy. See all the, see all the victories? No once did I feel happy. I felt nothing. See whenever we fucking. See whenever we, uh, we won. I felt nothing. See when we got a defeat, frustration. See healing people that were I uninstalled it, it's gone. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm not going back to that game. I'll shed things for the sub. Help us get things through two quid, mate. The guillotine is ready, as is the crematorium set me free from this ghastly prison. No no. No. Um I so I played it after stream, I wasn't streaming it, I just thought, right, just um play it just to see how I how I feel. And I was going Zarya and then I was going um I was going Zarya and I was going uh, uh, Healer Healers, I was going uh, Mercy and Zen and all the rest of it. Uh, Moira and I was just like it was just unfulfilling. It's good it's good to have a glance at it. You solo could with no fun folk. Fuck off. Nilesy, I don't want to play with anybody. I don't want to team up with anybody. Because I have to talk to you. Let's say I was to team up with you and say Cater Cakes or somebody else. I would I would then have to chat with you, right? And that's good. But I'm also streaming. And to chat away, to use and ignore the chat. I don't think that's very good. I don't think that's very good. Hates his fans. Spank, it's because I love my fans that I don't want to then be in a team and chat with the team or talk to the team and kind of ignore the chat. I meant just playing off stream. Fuck that fucking game, Niles. I'm not interested. I'm all interested in like competitive and streaming. I don't want to play any games after stream. I don't want to play any games that I'm not streaming. I just played it after the stream of the day just to kind of dip my toe in. Just to get a wee test. What time does City start, Lemmy? Right, listen. I've not played City Skylines for... um, not a fucking couple of... You just told us you were... Yes, did you, Niles, did, you, did you then hear what I fucking said after it? I said I don't want to play any games after stream, but I did play that after stream of the day just to sort of dip my toe and see how I felt. You know, I wasn't, I would never like continually come back and play it after stream. I played it, played it for hours the day, I played it for like whatever that was, 10, 10 matches. Bollywood, thanks for the 713 sub, worst Overwatch character. Uh, Well, I don't know. Me personally, I, oh no, don't, don't, I, I don't get me any. Don't, I, 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 Sigma, I'm not quite interested in Sigma. JCAC, thanks for two three sub. You're a good person, mate. Thank you very much. But listen, so see the morning night when I'll be on here the morning night at ten o'clock, ten p.m. GMT. I have got for you. Right, obviously, I've got. Um, City Skylines, which I've not played for a while. The morning night, at ten o'clock. How's about when I come on? Um, I play City Skylines, and I make a pyramid town. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about. Like a, a kind of road that goes around in a square, but then it goes up a level to an, a, basically a pyramid, basically a pyramid, 
run like kind of spiral make the canal elevator wheel oh Falkirk wheel I wouldn't be able to do that obviously but I wouldn't even I don't even think I'd be able to make anything that kind of looks a wee bit like it Varendale thanks for the sub Um, no just a wee just a wee pyramid just a wee pyramid a wee pyramid anonymous thanks for two quid never seen you do anything other than sketches before didn't know you streamed that was fucking brilliant it reminded me of some of Stuart Lee's long form stuff but better Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, mate. Um, so I'll stream that tomorrow night because I've not done it for ages. Right, I'll do that tomorrow night. City Skylines tomorrow, but remember, I've also got this game, Fibrillation HD. Might be a wee bit boring. That Little Brother Jim game. That walking simulator. You saw that, that interesting. The one that's got the game within the game. The Talos Principle... Um, DLC this game that I've not played before called Do Not Feed the Monkeys it's like a CCTV game and Planet Coaster I've got Planet Coaster more 3 2 one. I'll give 3 2 one a bit of, bit of fucking break Planet Coaster. I'll give Planet Coaster a shot, right? We'll see how it goes. You said something about Ableton and Night Cycle earlier. What was that? I can't remember that now, is it? I'll check the void. I'll, I'll have a wee look. See see what I could be talking about there. You're welcome, Danny. Well, everybody, thank you very much for the subs, donations, cheers. Mods, thank you very much for sorting out these bastards. Um, how can we, how can we? I've stayed up a wee bit late. Was there a lot of bands in it? So I'll be getting, a f I take it, I'll be getting a few uh, tweets. I got banned for fuck all. My username is... My, I don't know why I got banned. My username's Hitler Hitler. And all I said was... Honestly, that's what I fucking get. A lot of anti-Semitic shit. What else is fucking new? What else is new? Anti-Semitism, sexism, mostly. What else is new? What else is new? What else is new trips? Um, Dander, Dander Wave, thanks for the sub. Calcium, thanks for the two Have you tried Super Seducer? I'm no in it. I'm no in it. I, I know I could play it in a sort of jokey way, but it's, I'm kind of no in it. Danny, thanks for 30 months. It's time for me to go to bed. Danny, thanks for. The, that's the most race up. Still on a fucking beach, thank you. <coughs> right. What's that? She's watching. Right. Hey, channel. Oh, fucking eyes, man. Right. I'll be back on. I've got, to, I've got till the end of this week to get my fucking three episodes, my series, edited and sent off to the BBC to get that first look at it. So I've got a bit of filming, maybe not filming tomorrow, maybe uh, editing. And see, after this after this weekend, well, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm nearly there, everybody. I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there at a full time. Nearly out of full time, man. Full time. It's actually gonna fucking happen. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow night at 10 o'clock GMT. Until then, you should do an, a live stream of editing. I can't. It's, it's, 
it's not like it's not like it's confidential, but it's a tele series that the BBC have paid for. I can't they just fucking show you all. Thanks for watching everybody, and I will see you tomorrow night, ten o'clock PM GMT. See you then. Here we go. <laughs>